I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna start here. Okay. Welcome to Castles and Castles. This is not what you're expecting. This is gonna be a one-shot campaign that is being ran because everyone is busy with BlizzCon this week. So that's the reason we're not running a regular thing right now. This is also pre-recorded, so don't subscribe with Twitch Prime. Don't do it. I'll be <laughs> super angry if you do. Really annoyed if you nice. start subscribing. Yeah. Really annoyed, guys. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, but I don't it, know what you're it, talking about. It's like Tuesday at 8 p.m. It's, no, I'm, I'm looking incorrect. at it on my phone right incorrect. here. It's live. <laughs> you should sub. Yep. The, I'll call the, it out. The, uh, the, 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 the regular stream of Castles and Castles that's DM'd by Joe and has all the, the other players will be starting again next Tuesday. But for now, we hope that we can entertain you some way, somehow, with a little one-shot campaign that we've set up. So what I've done is I've gathered three individuals here. When I say me, I mean Josh has gathered two individuals <laughs> here. And uh, and he sent out the uh, the appropriate messages. And we're going to have a little one-shot campaign where we've got some, some characters that have been created. And actually, they've got a bit of a backstory. And I made you three create your backstories beforehand. Right off little paragraphs. Look at this. This is an actual 200-word essays. And we were supposed to be watching the stream, but we wrote 200-word essays instead. <laughs> yeah. Bren they, they said, just... come to my house. Write this essay, Scott. It'll be, yeah, fun, it'll be fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want you to go down on the line, firstly, and, and read out your backstory to me. Embellish it, Josh. And we're okay. going to go down so that people get an idea of the characters you're going to be playing with this campaign. Okay. My name is Robert Trollop. You're putting on a voice as well. Oh, hey, my name is Robert Trollop. Okay. I, it's not putting on a voice. It's just the voice of Robert Trollop. Ah, I see. Okay. <coughs> oh, this Robert is... Trollop's voice is going to be really straining on the vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I, <coughs> Robert Trollop is a, uh, some might say, slightly overweight dwarf. Mm -hmm. How much do you weigh? Oh, around 250 to 300 pounds. And how tall are you? Uh, roughly five foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> so you're spherical. <laughs> so I, I could be used in a pinch to be a boulder. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I've been adventuring for a little while, and I'm uh, as I, basically I'm driven by a, an urge to find riches in order to uh, convert those riches into good food, uh, good times, <laughs> good women, uh, good beer in particular. Bloody love my beer. Uh, the, the first, actually, the first ever adventure I went on, I was uh, coming down from the mountains, you know, mountain dwarf I am. And uh, I saw this... Uh, what was this that? Mum dwarf or mountain dwarf? Mountain dwarf. Okay. Mountain. Sorry, come from the mountains, mountain. not come from your mum. <laughs> well, you know, she's been around a bit, so we'll... Uh... <laughs> I, I, I have heard that your mum's <laughs> yeah, right, right. Continue, continue with the backstory. Continue with the backstory. I have heard things about Brennan's uh, mum, you continue know. With the back story. <laughs> continue with the backstory. And you know, I've had my share of women. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. I came down from the mountain and the, the local folks there, I was just really traveling around looking for sausages and beer. And uh, they, they said, oh, uh, Mr. Dwarf, there's a evil tyrannical corporation kind of uh, going around. Uh, and I didn't really care until I found out they were in charge of the brewery. And they were handing out piss water, absolute <laughs> piss water, and making a ridiculous profit on it. So I said, well, that can't happen. That just cannot happen. So I, I, I teamed up with this, uh, this local, uh, local arsonist, actually, and, uh, and a little, I say little, he's... Uh, Who do you call little? He's a good friend of mine now, but did think he was kind of little at the time when I met him. He's a uh, <sighs> reasonable chap, though, calls himself Atlas the Tall. It's not overcompensating. I'm very tall for, uh, you know, it's not about height. It's about tall in like uh, strength and ability. Uh, I can uh, match up to you and your spherical roundness. You certainly <laughs> can. <laughs> you, you sure can. Let him finish the story. Yeah, yeah. Here, all right. Yeah, we went, well, anyway, we went down to the brewery and uh, Atlas, you know, the, apparently this corporation takes the piss out of halflings. Maybe turns it into piss water. I don't know. <laughs> That's not really a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. And, uh, well, basically, I conned the brewery into, uh, into signing their stuff over to me. I got the gift of the gab. And, uh, and then, unfortunately, weirdly, the brewery burnt down. <laughs> mm. And, well, and you, you claim that, that that may or may not have been 
Atlas the Tall. No, no, no. Atlas the Tall doesn't fuck with fire. Okay. Uh, that would be uh, that would be my friend ah. over here. Yeah. He's uh, got the touch of fire about him. Mm. He's got a bit of fire in his brain. So <laughs> and uh, he loves to burn. This things. is fire and had money by Probably the way. too much, I would so say. Let me, let me get this right. You came from the mountains. I did. And your entire drive and source of ethics comes down from beer. Well, not purely beer. I, mean, I, I think what's most important about life is that you have a good time. You're only here for a short amount of time. Mm-hmm. You want to make the best use of it you possibly can. I mean, dwarves are around for quite a long time. Well, they're quite a long time compared to you, you tiny little fucking human. <laughs> <laughs> but you call not, them tiny. Huh? The, the human, not you, you oh, bloody... Okay. Yeah, no, okay. Just, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're practically a giant in stature compared to this weak <laughs> human <laughs> from a delightful mother. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, I just want to make the most of my life. You know, in terms of well, intake, consumption. That, that is lovely. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Robert True Loop. True Loop. <laughs> True Loop. Robert True Loop. Well, yeah, don't pronounce it like a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. Sure. Robert True Loop. Robert, 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 okay. I gotcha. thought it was Troll Up. No, I think way back when some of my ancestors. Way back when, like five it. minutes ago. Uh, five minutes in maybe your time. <laughs> <laughs> No, All right, true loop uh, it is. Ro- Robert True Loop. Robert True Loop. Right. Can I call you Bob? You may call me Bob. I'll call you Bob. Uh-huh. Bob. Custer, pro player for the Overwatch League. To those who, who may or may not know, they might be tuned in. They they don't know. Who knows? What are you what are you gonna be playing as? What's your character? What's his backstory? My character is Atlas the Tall. I am Atlas the Tall. I was born in a halfling monastery. So uh-huh. it is a monastery only for halflings so we're not very accepted in the monastery community because you know they think they're better than us and that's why they're inferior and they suck and i'll fight them um (laughs) so i left my home to prove that halflings could be superior monks and superior people to the rest of the world and the best way to do that is to adventure so i was going into the world and i was exploring everything that i could i did actually come along Anitus, 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 Anitus. Not even close. Third times a charm. <laughs> yeah. We've been friends many years. Yeah, well, I, you know, he talks a lot. So, uh. well, not really. He doesn't talk at all. I talk a lot. But Anitus and I got along very well because whenever I disagree with someone, which happens, you know, very few and far between, I would never. Sure, dis- absolutely. You're uh, just it, a lovely. It's not my fault that they called me short, or they got in my way, or that they suck. No. So I punch them. <laughs> it helps when you have a guy that loves fire because that's one way ticket to ending a fight. So whenever someone you know, <laughs> maybe gets the best ha- best of me because you know not because they're superior, just because you know they got lucky. So a night is lights them on fire. So we became friends, and uh, that's when us traveling along, we came across Trulup over here. I like to call him Bob. Us and Bob. I, I we- also like to be called Bob. That's not an insult. <laughs> well, okay, Bob, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> that's a right good name. Yeah, that's a great name, Bob. So we came along and we, ever since then, have been roaming the towns, finding whatever we want. Neither of these guys care about anything and anyone who picks on me gets fought by them. So we've been going along, raiding, getting... Raiding. You know, women raiding. <laughs> well, when everything's as tall as you know against me, you know uh-huh. it's it, it's a lot so of raiding. What are you? What are you? Your bandits? You're a group no, of bandits? No, no, no. no we're not. Never, never you know, no, no. We that. just light things on fire every now and then. It's fine. Oh, I, I light I, things on fire. He, Interesting. He sometimes lights things on fire. I, th- I feel like uh, we're perhaps overplaying the malevolent nature of our party. We do tend to be good on the whole. I, I There's think. a lot of beer. A lot of beer. I, I feel like you black out a bit too much, Trulip. It's possible. The things get lit on <laughs> fire after he blacks out, yes. Uh-huh. Wow, okay. So I've heard two-thirds of the party mm. so far. Mm. Wave Punk, yes. my name from Rocket League, Twitch Rivals, and now the prestigious Castles and Castles. And uh, what, what are you bringing to this party? Uh, what are you bringing my, to this table? What are my you name, swanning in? My, I don't know who Wave Punk is. Not uh-huh. sure who this is. Sorry. He sounds like a great chap, sounds though. Sounds like a great guy. Sounds like he, it sounds like he's, he's very tall as well. He and... He and Atlas here will get along just fine, but uh-huh. Anitus. It's all people standing together. <laughs> yeah. Anitus Pompeo is a uh, is, is is quite. He's a half elf. I'm uh-huh. I'm a half elf from uh, the Glister faction of farming slash herding elves. We all come from 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 the down south. There's mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of a lot of agriculture that goes on, um, and land is a little bit scarce. There's a lot of cliffs. There's a lot of rocky areas where you can't grow things, and the places where you can grow things are kind of fought over. And and you need the cows need to eat it. 
and the plants need the ground to grow in, uh-huh. right? So there's not a lot to go around here. And Harsh environments for so, one to be so brought up in, right? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the farmers and the herders are kind of always going back and forth and feuding, and the herders, because we're smarter, decided to put together a small team of arsonists just to burn down all the plants, burn down all the crops, and then there's n- then the farmers have to move because they've they've destroyed all their <laughs> their their livelihood. Uh-huh. So yep. it, it's a very effective strategy, and we won herders for life. It's great, but <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I got tired of burning barley and wanted to find a few bigger things to burn as well, and just you know see the world a little bit. Uh-huh. See the, the fights. I was always winning the fights. I wanted to find some fights that maybe could give me. A harder fight, or just a, bit of a challenge. I want to watch some people have a good time. I don't care about who's the best. I just want to watch people just go yeah. at it, right? And then I bump in to this guy here. He gets in a fight about every four feet, and it's great, uh, you know. Which <laughs> you is cool in four feet. I know you, 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 my friend, are the tallest person okay. I have yeah, ever yeah, met. Within, okay, That's and fine. I love it when people disagree with that statement because oh, it's just so entertaining just to watch. Fights all over the place. Huh? Yes, and usually you can you know get some you know, scoop some beer from the back while they're all over there taking care of their benches, making sure they don't get broken down. Yeah. And then uh, we bump into this man over here. He likes beer. I like beer. We like women. We like music. It's a lovely time. I enjoy watching the chaos ensue, and uh, sometimes I may or may not light a brewery on fire, and then okay. you know, that's that's the day. You you sound more like a a, ba- a band of bandits than a, a party or oh, any certainly, certainly wouldn't say that. I, at I think all. we have it, good intentions. Okay, well, to we, start with, we we're banded in the rich and the cor- incorporated and the gentrified in favor sure. of the weakling people and the say, heightists. Yes, yes. I would say if we had a, a motto, it might be eat the rich food. And uh, drink the great beer, and anything else, fuck it, burn it, <laughs> burn it down, burn, burn it down, down. <laughs> burn it down. All right, okay. Uh, you don't sound like an adventurous party to me, but uh, that's okay because you know what? It's it's your re- you know it's it's vacation time. You got a day off. You guys have been working hard. You're a, you know you, you've been going around these parts as an adventuring party. Some people call you bandits. You like to think of yourselves as adventurers, and you found yourself. A nice local town in the kingdom of Galadron. And this place has been war-torn for quite some time. But you found one of the more affluent towns to just kind of settle down for the day. Maybe enjoy a couple of uh, craft beers, you know, some of the fineries mm. in life. And it's a very pleasant morning, you know. We're in the kind of like spring, summertime. That transition is just about to happen. The temperature's lovely. The sun is shining. Kids are playing in the streets as you're roaming down, you're walking down, this, that, and the other. But you can tell that this is a place that is sort of, you know, uh, under war as it stands right now. And, you know, the kingdom of Galadron as well hasn't had a king for about seven years, as you know. And you can tell the people, you know, they're, they're down and out. But this is one of the more sort of pockets of space in Galadron that's doing reasonably well for itself. And a big part of the reason for that is, you know, of course, you've got great agriculture all around, the, the the fantastic lakes and whatnot that are based around in the southern sides. Tales tell of potentially it being inhabited by a sea dragon, but that's a tale for another time. And uh, don't mess with sea dragons. No, no sea dragons. You <laughs> don't, don't like to mess with, with them. them. Not a fan, not a fan. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with you there. But all in all, you have all decided to to stop off in this town. You know, you're... You, you, cleaning yourselves off you're gonna stay at a local inn and then just enjoy some of the beer so you've all made your way down to a local tavern you're sitting down enjoying some drinks and whatnot as you walk in through the doors you see the bartender eagerly awaits you and he, he comes rushing up to your sides he's heard of you he's seen your stature oh he's seen my stature and he thinks well, he can't this miss is a you. man oh, they call me the man of great girth <laughs> Around these parts, and uh, for he, a couple of reasons. <laughs> he, oh yeah, he knows <coughs> you can drink, so he's immediately going to come up and he's saying, "Oh, we we weren't really expecting your your company, uh, 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 sir." Trulup. Trulup. Yes, yes, of course. Why well, you look like a man who can appreciate a beverage or two? What can I get you, fellas? Certainly can't appreciate a beverage. Uh, I'll take uh, I'll take a glass of your finest stout. Uh, fire water for one on the end and uh, mm. half, half pint for this one. Ah, oh, well, no, I'll, I, I don't need a half pint, mate. I'm going to have a full pint, okay? Uh, because uh, I can drink just as much as you. Don't look at me like that, sir. Absolutely. I, I would have a full I, pint. I would never even cl- 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 claim, claim such a thing. Of course. Yeah. Apologies. We have, we'll get you your drink straight he, away, sir. He had a look in his eye that said he can only handle a half pint. Otherwise, you know, I would always order you Bob, a we're going to fucking start it right now. You know, we haven't even had our first drink and you want to open up in this bar. Uh, no, 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 no. Of course not. Of course okay. not. We don't uh, want to see you go rolling down uh, the stairs again. A, a double pint for this guy, please. Yes, absolutely, sir. Yeah, absolutely. And, Twice and, 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 and a bag of popcorn from me. I'm going to need it in a bit. What is popcorn? Oh, it's just it's a thing you grow. 
in the ground. Okay. It, 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 it comes up. The worms gestated a bit, and then we. You see, you don't got the delicacy. What, what's what is your favorite snack, sir? Good sir. Uh, we uh, we we have um, uh, uh, fried pygmy worms. That sounds close enough. Okay. Take yes. a whole bag. Get you some fried pygmy Thank worms right much. right away. Uh, and it was a stout of fire water and then a double pint for you. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course, absolutely. Right, uh, it'll be coming just just in a moment. And he scurries off behind as uh, as he awaits. And as you look around the tavern, you see that, you know, it is your classic tavern. The, the one where adventures start, where some end, in your case, multiple times. You've had many adventures ending in the tavern. Um, in, in one corner, you can see all sorts of rather shady individuals maybe throwing a couple of dice around. On the other side, a patron who's probably drank too much for this portion of the day for this time. Remember, the sun is still shining at this point. The people who are going to be inhabiting this uh, this tavern at this time, eh, you know, not the finest of individuals, but, you know, perfectly respectable individuals at that. And he's, you know, flirting with the barmaids and whatnot and trying to catch their attention to no avail. But uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's just another rowdy environment. So... What would your character be doing then right now, Custer, who goes by the name of Atlas? Atlas is currently sitting next to Bob, eyeing him down, just making sure, and but also eyeing off everyone else, make sure no one's sort of looking my direction, sort of staring me down. You know, we might, as you said, not a lot of you know nice individuals here, so I'm just sort of checking out what's going on. You know? Okay, okay. And uh, and what about you then, Mr. Trollop? Trollop. Oh. I'm just enjoying my pint at the moment, naturally. I'm <clears throat> just sipping away the, the uh, well, I don't even know whether I have my pint, but I'm, I'm visualizing nope, there it. There is no pint yet. I'm visualizing it <laughs> because visualizing I, I like it. to run you through th- what would happen in my head uh, in order to relive the moments twice. I like to visualize, then I like to do the thing, and then I like to brood on the memory. And that way you enjoy a pint three times, and you only have to pay for it once. So that's, uh, that's the way that I like to live. Oh, I'm ju- just chilling at the moment, taking a look and uh, seeing if I can... Uh, Catch the eye of the, the person over there that's clearly absolutely sozzled. Because mm. uh, that's the kind of person that I enjoy hanging out with. Oh, he is leaning against the wall. He is all over the place. I mean, you can tell that the way that the bar staff are treating him, that he is, you know, a regular at this spot. They put up with him because he, he puts up the gold at the end of the day, you know. Uh, and even if he is a little bit disrespectful to the barkeep every now and then, it's not really enough to really push him over the edge and finally get him kicked out, you know. He's a regular source of income, but... Well. A man like that knows what the uh, the best food and drink in the area is. So mm. I'm gonna go over and uh, have a have a little chat with him. What brings you to these parts, then? Uh, hello. Uh, how's how's things? You look uh, you look like you're having a good time. What? You look like yeah, you're having, I'm having a-, a good time. Oh, bloody hell! No need to interrupt me, is, is there? You don't need to shout. All right. What are you? Are you. Uh, oh, are you uh, what? Uh, Unusually tall dwarf is ball? what I normally go by. A ball. <laughs> I like I like your spirit. So. Uh, what are you drinking? Uh, I asked for the stout, but I don't know what's best. Honestly, I'm just a a master of enjoyment. Yeah. I like to I like to enjoy and consume. What what uh, what would you uh, what would you recommend? What has got you so thoroughly toasted on this uh, midday? Well, a stout in this kind of weather is not for me personally. I like it for more colder weather. You know, I'm a little bit of a connoisseur when it comes to alcohol, liquor, drinking. Really? Connoisseur, sort of you, you little stick. <laughs> you look like you couldn't put anything away. Well, look, you, you might... look like you put it all away. Huh? I, I did, and I can keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you keep doing that. But, I mean, if I was to give you a suggestion, well, I mean, what do you normally go for? You said stouts? Good food is what I'm actually looking for. Good me, food, me my huh? party, we're, we're a little bit hungry, honestly. You tried the pygmy worms. <laughs> The pygmy, it, it will, and nobody else recommend anything other than the fucking pygmy worms. It sounds good to me. It's, I'm just still waiting for mine. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not convinced myself. I'm not a fan of worms. Well, really. I mean, worms live into, in the ground. Yeah. Not in my belly. Times are tougher. There's a lot here. of things that live in your belly, though. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> they get <laughs> thoroughly digested. With the war and all, you know, there's not much food going around in these parts. What, uh, what was once, you know, a regular thing is now more of a delicacy. You're going to have to pay a little bit extra if you want some of the good stuff. What, are you fucking selling? <laughs> no, not me, no. 
No, I'm just saying, you know, you don't look like a man with a lot of money. I got a shit ton of money. What I the fuck are you talking about? I don't think you got Wait, can you, tell, can you tell us where it's stored? Can you just tell us where the food is? Where's the yeah. good stuff? What do you mean? Do I look like a fucking work here? Yeah, yeah yes. I don't, I don't like, like a little this bit. guy's tone. You know, I don't like the way he's talking to us, boys. I don't know. I feel like he's getting a little don't too hasty. Don't you start piping up are to me, Are you going to raise your voice ass. at me? Yes, I Did am. Did you just call me short ass? Oh, I, yeah. Well, what do you think I call you? Oh, look baby. at you. I punch him. You punch him. Okay. I uh, really want my bag of pygmy worms right now. Yeah. Uh, you punch the man and uh, and he just doesn't see it coming. I mean, the guy is uh, about five drinks in and he just gets knocked out cold. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just... I, I stand above him and look around the room to see what everyone else is looking at. Mm. And then I, I stand tall, look at Bob, give him a nod, and go back to my table. Well, yeah, you notice that the, the table gambling has stopped. Uh, rolling dice and they're just staring at what's occurring and they see you looking in that direction and then they immediately go back to playing dice again rolling uh, rolling the bone so to speak um but uh, yeah definitely a couple of uneasy eyes around now the bartender has just come running up now as well and he's holding these stouts in his hand i'm terribly sorry about the patron over here did he did he cause some some offense mm, I- yes he offended my friend here he said he was of ill of stature Awfully sorry about that, I don't sir. Awfully sorry. The manners in this They're area of the country. Completely untrue as well. Completely untrue. Fabricated, mm. if I dare say so myself. Uh, well, uh, of course, we'll uh, we'll we'll help him uh, we'll watch over him for a little while. I think he was thoroughly sozzled. No, no harm, no foul. Oh, he's a regular. I wouldn't worry about him. You can just leave him on the floor there. He spends most of his nights there. In the meantime, I have your drinks here, and he's gonna hand you the stout, the fireball as well, and uh, and two. Full on pint mugs mm. for you in the middle there. I I drink one of my mugs instantly, instantly, and then entirely. instantly, and then walk over with my other one. Okay, roll a Constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Constitution save. Um, that's a three. A three. <laughs> With a yeah, three. So that's describe three. to me how you're trying to put this beer back down. Okay, so as. <laughs> As as it's you know a huge pint and it's my size, uh, as I'm I'm pouring it, about half of it goes in my mouth as the rest yep. just pours down me. All down you, yeah. Yeah, and I and then I, I slam it back on the table, give a bit of a burp, <clears throat> and uh, walk off with the other one. Mm. The the bartender looks at you, puts down your drink, and just walks away. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's he can't be dealing with this at this point in the day. Well, while he walks away, I, I I ignite just the smallest little flame, like a candle, on uh-huh. the end of my finger. And you know how when you like run your hand through a candle, like it gets just a little mark on you, just yeah. a little bit of the residue for something. I, I draw a fake mustache on our unconscious <laughs> patron, <laughs> and I go back to my fire whiskey. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> well, you know the, the the day is progressing as is usually does for a party like you um i mean uh, again it seems like you can't go five minutes without starting a fight with somebody at some point he started it i ended it sure yeah yeah that may have been the case uh but as you're enjoying your drinks and it's all going you know reasonably well you begin to hear on the uh the alleyway that's kind of just facing you're all sat down at one of the tables there's a window next to you the window's closed but you start to hear the tumble uh, and uh, and the sound of hooves on concrete, mm. and the sound of a <laughs> that was a that was my sheep noise. That was a sheep. Okay, that was <laughs> a sh- better. Right, okay. right. Better. I haven't. I've never imitated a sheep. That was a that was the first time for me. Uh, you, you, you begin to hear <laughs> sort of bleating noises coming from the alleyway, crashing and tumbling as it what sounds like crates and uh, and various objects are being flown everywhere. And uh, and just in the distance, a, a, a meeping of some sort of sheep. Sounds like home. Mm. You can almost smell the manure from here. I, I hate this city. Why 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 is there sheep in the middle of the street on the concrete? This is just a this is just a waste of good times. This the, town sucks. I want to get out of here. Soon they're as well. moving south for the better weather. Keep the sheep. You got to migrate. Keep them away from me. Wouldn't mm-hmm. you a herder? Yes. Hey, you want to you want to go grab that in there? We I I mean they they say that. The uh, meat around these pies is getting a bit expensive. That's what the patron on the floor said when we knocked him out three hours ago. I'll yeah. give you one silver piece if you can catch that sheep and bring him inside. Catch one. <laughs> There's at least uh, 400 in the street right you grab now. Grab one. I only just want one. one. I just I'll, want one. I'll get one. Yeah. I'll get one. I, I, I scamper you, out the uh, front door looking for the sheep. As you get up out of your seat ready to take this wager 
full on, you know, the the world in your hand, as uh, as you can just feel those silver pieces almost touching it. <laughs> Suddenly, bursting through the doors comes a sheep galloping through, making all sorts of noise, raising hell in the building, bleating all over the bloody place, <laughs> jumping from table to table. All over the bloody tavern. How, how big is this sheep? It's it's a regular sized sheep. It seems regular in every single way. Roll a perception check, everybody, for me. Ooh. And what do I add to this? Uh, uh, you have a perception, perception skill. Oh. The skill. Yeah, you, you, I it think you were. I'll be in the yep, skill. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I got a twenty-three. I, I, twenty-three. I got, I got a twenty. Lord. I got a thirteen. Okay. Well, you all noticed as the sheep is running through that in between it, you know, it jumping around, searching frantically for something in the tavern, you get the impression that it's searching for something as it's scanning its beady little eyes around the room. And it has a little parchment in its mouth. For some reason, what, you don't really seem to grasp it. But suddenly, the sheep locks eyes onto you, Caleb, uh, your character whose name escapes me. Because Anitis. I'm an idiot. Antis? Anitis. 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 Uh, he locks eyes of, uh, of Anitis and immediately begins charging towards you, uh, but stops just before he gets too close, drops the piece of parchment on the floor, and begins bleating uncontrollably. I yelled, uh, that doesn't count. I, <laughs> no. I, I, I slowly just... Just scoot my arm underneath the sheep and just, just give it a nice caress, ignoring the paper right now. <laughs> just, just, just trying to chill it out. I say, done. Checkmate. No. Please, right here. That's cheating. There was no You, che you did time, not specify every time you any cheat. different rules. That is, you've obviously trained this sheep. You, 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 I did you not made this happen. Do your I'm point. Gonna. I need to clarify in my many years of experience with these dumb animals that this is by far the smartest <laughs> sheep I have ever seen. I'm it was looking for me. <laughs> it found me. <laughs> it, this thing is almost sentient. This <laughs> thing, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna walk over while they're arguing and take a look at the parchment. Mm. What is your arcana skill like? My arcana. Uh, plus three. Plus I've got three. proficiency in it. So it's reasonable. So as you, as you open it up, you, you kind of, you don't really notice anything, but it is strange symbols written all over this, this piece mm. of parchment. Yeah. Uh, have you ever seen anything like that before? I, I look over at the parchment. Yeah. So you, uh, Anitis. Uh, uh, Got it right, hell yeah. I have plus seven, no, kind of. You, uh, you definitely recognize. You've seen this in your trials. You know, you're quite proficient when it comes to wizardry spells and whatnot. And you've seen one or two of these in your time. It's just a classic uh, scroll that's been inscribed with a spell from another wizard, so uh, such that anybody with the skill and capability of reading it would be able to cast it, which uh, you're you're capable of doing. So you you recognize it that this is actually a scroll of some sort of spell being contained inside of it. Okay, can, can I read what the spell is? Yeah, roll an arcana uh, check for me. Oh, that's not great. That would be a 13. 13? Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, you do recognize it. You would be able to encant it. You wouldn't know what it does, though, until you've read it out loud. Okay. You know what the scroll means? The, the, yeah, it's a spell. And I, I could do it right here. <laughs> I You're could. You're not serious. I don't, this is the worst. All right, we don't want to burn another thing <laughs> down, okay? <laughs> the only thing I've seen you do is fire, okay? <laughs> I don't know. This sheep seems real persistent on me casting. I've, I've never seen is. a sheep nod before, but this is something I, new. I kind of just, just, I, I'm going to hate myself for the rest of my life if I don't do this right now. Are you guys all right with this? Well, uh, I, I mean, maybe we should go outside first. I mean, what if it, what if it sets the sheep into a black okay. hole? After something? last time, that does seem like the responsible thing to do. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Fine. I, I, let's, let's, let's go outside. Let's just, thank you so much for the alcohol, good sir. We're going to, we're, we're going to take a, take our leave right now. We head outside, mm -hmm. head outside. And I begin reading the incantation. Mm. So as you read the incantation, suddenly the sheep's bleating transfers from ah! to, Oh God, thank the Lord. I found you all. <laughs> I found some adventures. I told oh. you it wasn't a normal sheep. What oh. the fucking Lord's name is that? It's a talking shit. We should kill it. We should Place fight it. Place me Why down, fight? peasants. Do you understand how much money this thing is worth? Oh. It's a talking sheep. I we am can... not a sheep. We could start a circus. You My right name now. is Finithias Shinebright. That's the weirdest sheep name I've ever heard. Well, you may right. have heard of me if any of you had any sort of intelligence. 
I was no. a local wizard to these parts. You may know me as one of the mightiest sorcerers in all the land, capable of uh, transmuting. Have you ever heard of him, wizard? Uh, I will say I've heard his name a few times. I've heard he's kind of a right down ass dick, but <laughs> he would... is pretty damn strong as shit. But right now you're a sheep. How are you? I don't. I don't feel like I should. Do I? Do I? Oh, you want It's a long story, but I'm so ever though pleased to have to have met some fine adventurers such as you. I promise you. Any amount of gold you can think, if you help me get back at my apprentice. Well, well wait there. How in the Lord's name did you end up as a sheep in the first place? I you... have been stuck as a sheep for two years. Two years? Two years. What's me. That, what's that like, by the way? Finitha, it... shine bright, has been eating grass <laughs> and defecating <laughs> on grass for two years. Well, and was... I have bided my time. And I have only just now been able to escape and find help. I beg of you, please assist me, and I, I promise you... How did it take you two years to escape? If you're apparently this amazing wizard smart person, sir. I, 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 I do not have opposable he's, thumbs. Hey, he's, a, he's a sheep now. I'm going to tell you, as a wizard, it's important to not be a sheep if you want to <laughs> stop being a sheep at some point. <laughs> you I, have, make a good point. I have heard that. <laughs> and, and I do have to also say I, I empathize. I empathize with this man. Being one of these horrible creatures would just, I would never, I've lived with these creatures for so many years of my life, I would never wish this upon my direst yes. enemy. Do you understand how little alcohol this man has consumed in the last two years? Oh, that, Jesus. Oh, I didn't oh even think about that. Zero. He can't have a drop. Do, I, I run back inside and order a stout. Oh. <laughs> no, I think, it didn't, no, no, troll, it, it'll kill Are him. You? He, he can't digest it. It's not built in. The enzymes are not present in the digestive tract. He um, can't drink beer. No. Sheep can't drink beer. No. Oh, good Lord. That's how Dolly died. <laughs> oh, rest, rest I, her soul. I beg of you, gentlemen, please. Please assist me. I, I must be transformed back. I will pay you any amount of money, any magical items at my disposal, any powers mm. but told it of me. I will help you. How do we, how do we know you won't just turn back into a wizard and... Bugger off! What do you mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really trust you. I usually don't trust sheep, so you're you're no different. A, he, oh, we, we, he has a point. I'm on your side. Here. I what can was... offer you a, an unbelievable amount. I of see gold. none of it, none of that right now. I just the only thing that you have is the stuff on your back, which is not very much as a sheep. Hear me out. Hear me out here. As he begins to to have a panic attack, as he feels like he might not. Start to accept him. <laughs> Many hours have passed of you drinking, passing time in this tavern, and now it is getting towards dusk. The people are starting to go inside a little bit more. But as you stepped outside to to you know cast this incantation and, and find out that the, this is in fact uh, a wizard that has been transformed into a sheep, you notice that there is a loud howling sound starting to fill the air. That seems to be accompanied by the sound of angry yells and the occasional scream. That seems to be drawing closer and closer and closer to you. The cause quickly becomes apparent as around the corner turns a huge, hulking half orc of a man, swaggering towards all of you, pushing his way past anyone who dares stand in his way as he tries to make his way directly to you. Now, following in front of him appears to be large, a huge, and I'm talking huge, wolf with an iron collar around his neck being led by a chain with a chain in the half-orc's hand and a hulking figure behind him in a dirty brown cloak following closely behind as well in his wake with foot... the, the foot... Uh, <laughs> footprints? I don't know. What do you, what do you call yeah, it? Like, the sound of his feet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thudding of foot his Foot says here, you know, it, foot falls, but I don't think that's a word, personally. <laughs> but, but the foot falls loud enough to be heard over any and all ruckus. The half-orc is going to set his eyes on all of you, works his way across all of you, strides forwards with one hand resting on the hilt of his great swords and says, that sheep is Master Noakes, and he desires it back. Well, who's Master Noakes? The owner of that sheep. And that's all that should matter to you. Now hand him over. Hey, sheep, what'd you say the name of your apprentice was? It, it is Noak. Oh, I kind of believe most of the story now. It's starting to make more sense with this ugly bastard asking us a question. Um, I don't know. I feel like one has given us a really good offer and one has threatened us. So, you know, how much have you got to offer and I, we'll, uh, we'll work it up. I, I don't know, his, uh, but we don't know that he can make good on this offer, right? I trust the big hulking. I just want this guy to drink beer again. 
That's true. I I think it would be best for us to help the little poor yeah, sheep thing. Yeah, but this, this, this ogre's real big. Hey, hey, I, I no ain't, offense, I good sir. Of, I, ain't good, I ain't scared of big. Uh, no, I, I am scared of wolves, slightly. I'd like you, to see him ride the wolf. You're going to give me that sheep mm. for Master Noak, or I'm going to put my great sword through your neck. Alternatively... Uh, I mean, yeah, listen. What are, what are we working with here? Now, can we talk this out over a pint of liquor? Would you be <coughs> Would you be so obliged? The wolf can have one too if he wants. If he can keep it. Well, yeah, you're, you're kind of talking my language a little bit here, okay. huh? All right, let's go back inside. Yeah, let's take this band have back. A couple of drinks. So Come on, Bob. You know what's my best. Pal behind us, though. The the, the 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 hulking figure behind them appears to be at least two feet over the half orc himself. The I hulking mean, figure behind is the wolf, right? No, the, oh, no, no, there's the two wolf is in there's front. Three there's a wolf in the front, yeah. an enormous half-orc dude. And a hulking figure behind as well. Can, can we discern any features about this hulking figure? No, he's shrouded. He's got a wow. cloak over it. Wow. How about we go inside? You leave the wolf, the wolf and the guy who's overcompensating outside, and we'll, we'll go have a drink. As much as I'd like to take you up on your offer for a drink in these trying times, I'm afraid time is of the essence, and I must be getting back to Master Noak. To hand over the sheep. Mm. Oh, what are you going to offer us? We ain't going to hand over the sheep for free. You haven't the sheep you given us. He yeah. kind of sounds like he's offering not mm. put his sword through our brains. The end of my blade. Yeah, I don't know. This is this is a this is that a sound one. promising. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I start laughing with Bob. That's a good one. Uh, that's a funny one. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, it tastes like that. Not in a laughing mood. <laughs> no. No, you will have. I've just over met a sheep. fucking talking sheep, so I'm kind of <laughs> having a giggle, honestly. I'm weird. still trying to work out if I'm seeing shit or not. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I really want the sheep to have some beer. Yeah, I, I'm. I, 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 I feel bad for the sheep. I definitely feel bad for the sheep, but I everyone don't... roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough talking. Uh huh. Oh, okay. oh, piss lips. Okay. Eight. Eight. Do I have to roll? Is it? Do I add any? Roll a d20, it? and I you'll have, have an initiative score. Initiative. Oh, on the you have five. Five. What? Yep. <laughs> zero in- oh. I have zero initiative. Where is the initiative? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. Now oh, nah, you're good. Plus, I'm 13. 13. Okay. This might be a short fight. <laughs> I don't know. I got. All right. Let's draw up the battle map. Okay. We should have attacked him first. Is there an escape win condition? We can uh, run from him. Not really. Okay. There's not I mean, an escape win condition. Uh, it's, it, it's D&D. Anything's possible. Okay. You know? How far away do I have to get before he loses track of us? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got the sheep. Got to try and figure it out. You got the sheep? Oh, yeah. I feel like the sheep's not going to be much help for us. Does the sheep have good abilities, Bren? <laughs> 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 the sheep is useless. <laughs> <laughs> this is... You have you have just given us the one shot escort mission <laughs> of a lifetime. Yeah, I fucking hate escort missions. Just so you know, <sighs> anyone who says they like escort missions is a psychopath. <laughs> okay, so the three of you are here. Yeah. Uh, this is all the gray characters. So we're in the alleyway. Yep, yeah, you are. This is the half orc. Okay. The hulking figure behind him. Okay, that's a bear. Uh, <laughs> While you weren't paying attention, the uh, oh, there's a snake. wolf has disappeared. Yeah, what? The oh, wolf wow. has disappeared! <laughs> how do you how mean? does the 20 foot tall wolf disappear without <laughs> yeah. us noticing? I, I just, I Did you just... see our perception rolls earlier? Yeah, I feel like I was being very observant. <sighs> it's dark, it's dusk. Bloody. Wolves very good at stealth. Are they? They are indeed. Man, Fuck. Is... Ninja I'm also wolf. very so good at the stuff. wolf is just we just don't know where he is. Yes, you knew that there was a no, wolf in front that of him, changes but now suddenly the collar, the iron collar, is on the floor, chain in his hand, as he was talking to you. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Oh, Slunk great. away. Uh, so, uh, it is actually going to be Caleb. It's your turn. Mm. Uh, Anitus. It is your turn first, and so far, what you see in front of you is this half orc just going to start to walk his way towards you. Uh, but you get the opening action here. Yes. Um, I would like, I believe, to back up. Okay. I am, I am, I am stepping out. Like, how close are we? You to people him? getting. I'm, I've got the sheep. You guys run the front line here, all right? Just like we did back on old Cantor's property, all right? <laughs> just, you guys take the front, I'll take the back. We got He's this. I'm looking out again. for that damn dog. 
So you're going to back up? Yes. Okay, as you back up, suddenly you realize where the wolf has been hiding. Oh, no. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I found the damn dog. He's a serpent now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a shape-shifting dog. <laughs> uh, but you still get the first action. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I turn around as I, as, I, as I sense the wolf at my back. I turn around and just create a flash. A flash of fire. Flash in front of fire. Of me. Yes, like like just as bright as I can in front of the wolf. Not hot, not siri, not dangerous, oh. just very bright. Trying to daze it, huh? Mm. Okay. Uh roll a D twenty for me. Nine. A nine. Add your Arcana modifier. Okay. Arcana is seven uh, okay. sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. The you create this giant flash of light. Uh, uh, this burst of pyrotechnics from all of your, your your understanding of fire magic and whatnot over the years, and you you daze the the wolf, and you're met with a yelp, you know, a little yelp coming from the the wolf itself as it backs off, suddenly blinded, uh, unable to really see anything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is now the big ass half orc's turn. A <laughs> uh, oh, goody. Yeah. And. Uh, he, uh, he is not a happy chappy. He is going to come at uh, you, uh, Mr. Atlas, and he's going to start swinging at you with his greatsword. And it is... What is your armor class? My armor class is 15. 15? Okay, that's a hit. He's going to hit you, and he's going to take a slash at you with his greatsword as he takes a running charge straight into you you don't manage to dodge in time and he's gonna chunk you for eight slash damage eight slash. Mm. yeah uh, okay that seems great it's going great guys yeah. um it is now uh, your turn if you want to try and take it a... it should bring up a side menu you're just doing it for me yeah well i can change that i oh so it's my turn first yep I'll do it. your turn I'll next um i'm going to uh, all right, with, with him just like slashing me and he's like hit me in the thing, mm -hmm. like you see me like sort of take the hit and I look back at him and I just like, you see rage and I hit him back with three really quick, uh, quick attacks. Flurry, uh, attack, Flurry of right? Blitz. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, do you have to roll to hit that? Yep. Uh, yes. So I have a six die, uh, plus six D. I hit for 20. 20? That is a hit. Yeah. You, you collide and crash into him with three quick strikes and I'll roll the damage. Um, okay, so I have 1d4 plus 4. Uh, where's my 1d4? Well, a, a respectable 5 damage to start. <laughs> um, so do I have to roll again for Flurry of Blows? Do I have to roll for each attack? Let's have a look. I'll I'm have to look it up. Sure, we can edit this out in post, actually. This is the great thing of it being oh, really? yeah, pre recorded. Yeah. yeah. After you take the action on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Would have to roll. No, you you do two unarmed strikes now uh, as a bonus action. Yeah, so you do. Yeah, so you do two times one d four plus four afterwards. Yeah, so it'd be like two. One, so I would roll again for each separate damage, but would I have to roll to hit again for the other two? No. I feel like I wouldn't, I mean, right? Yeah, so immediately after you make the attack action on your turn, you can spend one key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Yeah, so but does that just guarantee hit if I already hit the first hit? I believe so. I'm going to just assume yes, because yeah. otherwise monks would be super weak. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right, so I roll 1d4 plus 4. So I do another... I do 8 damage to that, and then uh -huh. I do 2 damage. So in total... Uh, that would in total that was five plus eight plus six. In total, <laughs> um, 19. nineteen. I do nineteen, 19 damage. damage. 19. Um, okay. And then, uh, I, I try and use. I use a strength saving throw DC eleven on the thing to push it back fifteen feet. Can you do that as a bonus action? It's uh, if, if I open hand technique, it's a special. When I use flurry of blows, I get to use one of three techniques. Ah, wow! So it, it, uh, yeah, so I use the strength saving one of DC eleven to push you back fifteen feet. The wolf back fifteen feet. Oh, the uh, the bloke, the half orc. Ah, uh, yeah, the so half orc. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. 
All right, okay. Yeah, you, you stagger him with three quick jabs, dealing some pretty significant damage. You feel like you can... Maybe one of his bones, one of his ribs was broken, actually, in the flurry, and you managed to send him flying back into this uh, into this uh, roadway that you're fighting him. He's going to go back about 15 feet. Uh, Josh, it is your go. Can I, oh wait, can I move after that? I want to stand behind the hulking sphere. Between, so I want the sphere to be between me and the other two things. So I'm in the middle of uh, Anitis and okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, Bob. Stand behind the hulking sphere. Is that what you're calling me? Yeah, you're the, the hulking sphere. You're, you're doing sphere. great, Bob. <laughs> Absorb the boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry to bring you along. Okay. So it gets to me, right? Is it my go? It is indeed, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to um, I'm gonna channel my uh, divinity, which is invoke duplicity. So what that does is uh, an illusion appears uh, within 30 feet of me. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a perfect illusion of myself. Um, and uh, people, you know, there's no way of telling which one is me and which one isn't me. Uh, so I'm going to create the illusion if you want to mark it down or something on the, mm -hmm. on the thingy. Uh, I'm going to create the illusion it, right next to me. So there's just like, so that there's two of them. Yep, right there. Uh, and then I'm going to move the illusion up towards the the guy where he got uh could have done that before i draw <laughs> it huh well you know I, I like i like every part of my uh process to be to be shown strong and that's that's my bonus action aha fuck you <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna move it forward to him, and I'm gonna move backwards towards the wolf, mm. within five feet of the wolf. Okay. Ah. Excellent. Okay, it is the bear's turn. Is it actually? It's a bear? actually a bear. Oh yes. As it comes hulking out, it lets off a roar. As it notices the half orc next to him. Uh, being flung back into the corridor, and it shakes off the rags that were concealing it. Quite poorly in daylight, as you saw from the flash of light. But now that you've got a little bit of ample vision, your eyes are kind of getting adjusted a little bit. The cloak comes off, and what is revealed is a giant brown bear. And it's going to come galloping straight towards all of you, ignoring the illusion that's just being procured. Bollocks. And, uh, and nice coming straight <laughs> for you. It's just going to run straight past me and towards oh, me. Two <sighs> Yep, he is going to go for you, pal. Uh, and he's going to run straight at you, Mr. Sphere. Okay. Uh, or actually, I mean, no, he's not. Uh, he's going to run straight up to you. Me? What? Atlas, you were the closest. Yeah. Wait, did uh, you move behind me? Yeah, I moved behind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? And he's going to make... Uh, he's gonna. How much HP are you on? I'm on 15. <laughs> okay, and he's going to... Wow, you are so lucky. He He's going to try and make a swipe at you with the claws, but again, you ain't fallen for that one twice in a row. No, you I'm managed to dodge boy. straight backwards. As you dodge backwards, he lunges at you with his jaw to try and take a snapping bite out of you. And again, you dodge just out of the way of it, barely missing you with both of the attacks. Uh, and that is going to do it for now. We're going to go to the top of the queue again. So Not mm. even close, boys. Yeah, mm. slightly Thanks. close. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. It is now your go again. Mm, okay. Uh, um, oh, actually, apologies. The wolf needs to go. Oh, yeah, that's turn. The dazed wolf. Yeah, it is the wolf's Just go. Just a second as well, because Kurt says, pull the map towards the camera. Which I guess well, just means pull the, pull the, pull the, the camera towards the map, probably. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's any good, but we'll uh, we'll fix it in post. You probably, probably go a little closer. It's just, you're probably missing the characters in the top. Uh... Yeah, we'll roll with that. The uh, the wolf is gonna go right for you, Mister uh, Mister uh, Anitus. Ani 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 Anitus. 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 Fine at this point, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And he's gonna. A word. He's gonna go to bite you. Mm. Uh, and what is your armor class? Mm. I think it's a pitiful ten, actually. 
So it's on the first one. Yeah, Major yeah. character. Right Armor ten. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna go to bite you, and he's gonna connect straight into your leg oh. as he starts tearing into your flesh and he bone. He was very dazed. Yeah. No, he was not. And he is going to hit you for. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Eight, eight damage. Okay. He's gonna tear a big chunk out of your leg, and uh, and immediately pounce back to a defensive position. But he gets a very decent hit onto you. Okay. Eight damage. Oh, that's rough. Not ideal. Yeah. Uh, it is now your go. If it you want to try and it is now my turn. Blow up the wolf or something. <laughs> Um, actually, I think I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna cast a firebolt at him. Excellent. And just straight at his fur. Just, yep. just straight at the, the, the part where he, the, the, he's got his, his hackles are all raised, giving me a nice, just tons of surface area to catch yep. fire. Just to, to catch fire. Right to where it. a wolf would hate to be on fire. Just blast him with fire. Absolutely. Can you roll a d10 for me? D10. Yeah. That's the initial one, right? I got a 10. A 10. Oh. Whew, that's what you want to see. All right, you uh, you conjure up this this mo uh, moat of fire in your hands, and you uh, you fastball uh, it. Is it not a D10? <laughs> he rolled a percentage die, so it is a D10 essentially. Okay. But instead that's... of a ten, you rolled a one. Then. Oh. Ah. <laughs> well. What's the ten? The ten is double zero. Never mind oh, then. Oh, you, uh, Alex, it said 10 on the die. <laughs> conjure up this, uh, this mode of fire. <laughs> Why do you double check uh, this? I'm sorry. Uh, and as you try and fastball it into the wolf, uh, only a little bit of it catches him onto him as he, uh, as he begins to, you know, you, you think that the, he starts to get ignited a little bit on his mane, but not quite. The, the rest of the fireball or the fire bolt just seems to just miss um, by a significant mm -hmm. margin. So you do a little bit of damage to the wolf. Okay. Um, but you char him a little bit, and he, uh, you know, he steps back. He's a little bit cautious. He didn't realize that you were a conjurer of fire and magic. Um, it is now Mr. Half Orc's turn. Mr. Uh, Half Orc. Yeah, that's not what actually his name. Again? I created a perfect illusion of myself, which is indis indistinguishable from me, and send it charging towards the Half Orc and the Bear in the hopes that they would get tangled up fighting my illusion, and I could just help you scare the wolf away and fuck off down the alley. Instead, we've become tangled with a bear and a wolf. <laughs> Good thing, Bob. Keep yeah. it up. I mean, you gotta try. How did they make it around the sphere? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was essentially plugging the alley. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the great uh, the great Hulkin half-orc is gonna go and swing at the illusion, thinking that it is the uh, the man of the match. Here, the Hulk, the behemoth, as he's known. Yeah, nice. goes by many names. The, the Sphere. The Sphere. Yeah, he takes up or all Bob. the space. Um, and he is going to swing at your illusion, but your illusion, too quick for him. Sidesteps Dodges. him with ease. Somehow, I mean, it, it actually, eyes deceive you all as you try and witness what the hell just happened. <laughs> but it felt like the, the sword almost just passed straight through it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the illusion is actually a physical entity. It can fight? It can cast spells, yes. It can cast spells, but it... It can cast spells, it cannot attack. Does it can have attacks? Mass? Does it take damage? No, do, if he swings it and he hits it, does it disappear? Uh, good question. That seems OP. That sounds like just... a no. I mean, what is the spell called? The The spell is called... It's the divine... What? Da, 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 da. It is... For some reason, I can't edit mine. Let's see if I can get it on my phone. It is invoke duplicity. Gotcha. So, yeah, you create a perfect illusion for one minute until you lose concentration. Um, but it is just an illusion, which means that attacks are just going to pass right through it. Um, but luckily for you, the illusion didn't dodge. The guy just somehow missed. Yeah. <laughs> His death perception is just not quite there. And he's going to let out a roar as in saying, Master Noak will be upset if we don't bring this bloody sheep back. And slams his greatsword down, but uh, somehow just misses the giant <laughs> sphere of, an, of a man. You're doing Excellent. great, man. Yeah, he's, he's trying. He's yeah. trying. Uh, it is now your turn, Atlas. Okay. So, um, I... I'm going to 
use the exact same ability against um, the hulking bear that just tried to attack oh, me. Mm. Okay, you're going to try and hit him with a flurry of blows. I'm Go hitting for with, going for a flurry yeah. of blows. Yeah. So I, I my original... Oh, right. I got to roll to hit, right? Yeah, roll to hit first. A 10 plus... plus four. I that's a hit. It was a hit? Yeah, right. that's a, a hit. hit already then. Um, okay, so then I rolled the d4. I got six... And mm-hmm. then I use the flare of blows as well. Plus eight. 14 plus eight. I I got 16 plus six is 22 damage. 22 Jesus. damage. Jesus Lord Almighty. The flurry of blows, huh? Yeah, apparently it's OP. Um, <laughs> and I also, I this one, instead of trying to push him back, I try to stun him, which uh, we try and knock him to the ground, mm. which is... Knock him prone. Uh, knock him prone. Is which that is a, a strength, strength check? Strength, uh, no, dexterity 11. Dexterity 11. Dexterity. DC 11. I got to beat it, huh? Strength check against the bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's uh, yeah, the bear, you know, it's it's a simple-minded beast or what it seems to be a simple-minded beast. So it comes charging towards you. You let out this flurry of, of fists and fury faster than anyone can really quite see or catch up with, including the bears. All three are going to connect straight in the cranium. And uh, and suddenly the bear is just stunned. He's taken for a ride. He doesn't know where he is. <laughs> you you feel like his skull actually cracking as you slam down into him. And with that, he drops onto all four hind legs. Uh, and all uh, four hind legs. Sorry, four of them. <laughs> it's an insect <laughs> bear. <laughs> doesn't have four hind legs. Drops down onto. Well, he was on his four legs, but they just sort of flatter underneath him as he falls prone and doesn't seem to be conscious. Uh, contrast, I should say. Um, it just seems to be quite taken out of the fight as you've just knocked him unconscious. And then I look at Bob and give him a nod. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just literally knocked out a bear. You fought a bear <laughs> and won. So, there we go. I, uh, ain't no short person able to do Bob, that, yeah. man. Yeah. This guy's tall. Bob, <laughs> it's your go. It's on me? Uh-huh. Okay, uh, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to use... My bonus action to move my guy a little bit further back. The illusion. Uh, the illusion's going to step back mm-hmm. uh, just outside of the swinging range of this dude. Mm-hmm. Um, so That's your bonus action. Yeah, my bonus action is to move the guy up to 30 feet. So I'm going to move him back about 10 feet. Does, um, it, does the orc have a moment of opportunity against the illusion? Probably. Yeah, he does. He's going to swing at it. And that's a, a hit. As he swings through the illusion, he notices that it's actually not that material, and it just seems to just pass through with ease. And at first, he, he lets out a laugh, thinking that you were easy prey, but then suddenly realizes as the illusion just stands there that he has been made a fool. And there's nothing more that Gaz hates more than Gaz. being made a fool. Gaz. Gaz. Gaz the half orc. He's been made a fool. Uh, so yeah, uh, what are you going to do for the rest of your turn? Okay, for, for my actual action, I'm going to cast uh, Inflict Wounds on the on the wolf in front of us. I keep thinking snake because the, sure, the thing is a snake. snake but okay, yeah. is that a, 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 a check at a wolf of any sight? Uh, no, I just roll to, a, roll to attack. It's a mm-hmm. melee spell attack. Okay. So I'm just... Oh. That's a seven, not a one. Don't panic. Mm-hmm. It's still not great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it absolutely is not great. Uh, do you add your modifier to it? Yes. Uh, plus four, I believe. So that's an 11. An 11. Uh, that is not going to be enough to hit the the wolfy boy. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, unlucky. Yeah, that is unfortunate, then. Slides and slinks his way out of uh, out of range of your, of your spell that you try and conjure up against him. Uh, and it is now the bear's turn. But the bear is unconscious on the floor. So I'm <laughs> going to roll to see if he's going to come to. And uh, he's going to shake himself off and try and pick himself back up again, which he, he does. But uh, it took a long time. You you knocked him out clean. Yeah. We should kill this bear because he's pretty <laughs> mad, I'm feeling, at this point. Yeah, you, you absolutely knocked his socks off. You did 22 damage to him. Um, yeah, I'm just double, I was literally just double-checking. Uh, it says... Just to like confirm that I'm like making sense, it I you you read it as well, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It, it seemed, looks seemed like it makes sense to me. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah, it's poop it is people. it is now the wolf's turn, and uh, after being singed a little bit by a firebolt, 
And after being, uh, someone tried to bloody hit him with some sort of uh, (laughs) magic. I don't even know what it was. But he is going to go and try and flank around a little bit. No. Um, And he is going to flank around and try and attack you, Mr. Fire Pyromancer. Yeah. I'm just saying it'd be really helpful if I had someone else do damage in this fight. Mm. Um, Sure. Probably would. (laughs) Probably would. (laughs) It's going to slink around, change his angle of attack, and he is going to hit you, oh, whether you like it or not. And he gets advantage on it as well because you're within five feet of the bear, who's an ally. So he is going to swing at you, and it is a hit. And he is going to deal. Uh, hopefully not a lot of damage because you're quite weak. <laughs> but it was a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he's going to once again lunge straight for your chest and he's going to clamp down at the side of you as he digs his, his fangs deeper and deeper into you and he's going to deal eight damage again. What are you on now? Um, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm at the 14. Okay. All okay. Right. That's not too bad. Doable. Doable. Yeah. Very reasonable. Very reasonable. Oh. Uh, is, he, is he hanging on to me? No, he, okay, he, he, he just bites a little bit and then he's going to deal a significant amount of damage. He's going to try and chunk you down and he's going to back off to a more defensive position so that nobody can take advantage of it. Uh, it is now your go. Oh, this has been very An painful itis. so far. <laughs> yes, yeah. The sheep is, is burdening one of my arms as well. I haven't put down Mr. <laughs> Wizard yet. He's still, we're still holding on to him. trying Because the moment I put him down, they're going to pick him up and run away. i got to hold on to him right now. So this, 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 Frickin' wolf just won't leave me alone. But he seemed to not like the fire. He didn't like the magic. So I decide I'm going to create a bonfire between the two of us. Just just a field, a, a small field uh-huh. of fire there. That's also the edge of which is the on bonfire. Him. Yes, it's creating a bonfire. In between you and the wolf. Yes. Okay, and I think, I believe it's around five feet in length. Mm-hmm. Now, I need to double check whether or not you can do that instantly or whether you have to <laughs> channel it, like if it takes time. <laughs> Um, just building a bonfire, just it's, instant. Yeah, it's, it's a magic bonfire. Yeah, it's create yeah. bonfire. It's a magic bonfire. That sounds very reasonable to me. <laughs> do a lot of damage. Uh, it, do, it doesn't yeah, do a ton of damage, but it can do quick. damage. It can light people on fire. So it's about scaring It ignites them. flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried, and a wolf is a very you, flammable you, object. <laughs> are you going to aim to catch uh, catch the wolf in the bonfire, or just to separate? Yeah, like, like, I'm, kind of like, like I'm catching yeah. it at him, so like it'll be there'll be a bit of it on my side that's kind of like in between him where he sees the flames in front of him, but he's also... So definitely, at least his face and his front legs are in the fire. Mm-hmm. It's all like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I believe I roll a d8. Uh, yes, roll a d8 for me. I got a three. A three. So you're going to deal three damage as the, the front side of him. Suddenly, you you encant some sort of demonic thing. Something like, dang, now it! Just like, dang, <laughs> 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 And you just seem to pull these flames from the earth itself as it yeah. erupts up in front of the wolf. The wolf is going to yelp and try and move backwards, but too little too late as he's singed right in the front of him. Uh, and you're going to deal a little bit of damage to him. He uh, also catches fire, yes? He does if he's flammable. He ignites flammable oh, Wolves are definitely wolves flammable. definitely flammable. I haven't flammable tried lighting one on fire, but I can assume. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen enough Woods movies. <laughs> Wolves don't like yep. fire. Every wooden movie taught me that. The wolf is now on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brent does not seem happy with the yeah. wolf on fire. I don't know. This, this sounds like fire. this is now about weaponized wolf. <laughs> 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 uh, but it is now Gaz's turn. And Gaz, realizing he's been duped you know, a little bit, is going to start rushing, barreling towards you sphere man but not the illusion you he's gonna run straight past illusion you Mm. and he's gonna go for uh the real you from what he can see just beyond and try and assist the bear that he's uh that you've knocked on well that you've knocked on the floor okay do we have advantage for our attacks because we have friends nearby no it's just a a perk that wolves have okay like a a pack 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 tactics is what it's called makes sense Mm. yeah so, Gaz, or Gaz, sh- his name is Gaz. I've been calling him Gaz. I mean, I Gaz, like Gaz works. Gaz, Gaz is better. All right, Gaz. Gaz. Yeah. Oh, Gaz. <laughs> Let's go, Gaz. Yeah. Uh, Gaz, I- in a heated gamer moment, is going to... <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to do? <laughs> uh, nothing that will get us banned off Twitch or YouTube, I can <laughs> right, assure you. Lovely. But he, uh, he is going to be a little bit more reckless as you start to see the blood fury running through his veins and he's going to start charging towards you and is going to make uh, a swing at you, whirling greatsword. 
uh, uh, which is a special action of his, where he's going to start spinning round and round. He's going to try and cleave both of you at once now. Jesus. So now he's wet. hitting me because he was trying to hit you, and you pissed him off. Well, Isn't maybe he's aiming at my head and it won't hit you. Is he going to chop the bear in half on his way? So he, <laughs> I punch. I just... <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. he, he's, uh, uh, and he's going to come swinging towards both of you. One giant sweeping motion with the great sword. And he's going to collide into both of you with this great sword now as he swings straight through both of you. Does he go through the fat one first? So it like reduces you, the you blow first, damage. First. Me first? That seems you first, rather yeah. <laughs> uh, And it's going to do 10 slashing damage to both of you. Oh my. He cleaves you from side to side here. This Let's is have great. A beast of rage. Yeah, I'm, we really should have just given him the sheep. Now in his, uh, in his rage... He, uh, he lets out a scream, and you realize that both of you in your experience of fighting is leaving himself wide open. You're both now going to get advantage on the next attack against him. Right. Because he just got advantage against okay. you. Um, but it is now Custer's turn. So we both get advantage against him? Even, yeah. So if I hit he still gets advantage? You get advantage to attack, and, and so does yeah, so he'll so get does Josh. You're at five health. Yeah. Help me. Yeah, you get advantage to attack him. I, regardless of seeing the hulking person just like yelling next to me, I turn my attention back to the bear who's still <laughs> right next to me and you are waking determined up. to murder this bear. <laughs> <laughs> and I hit him with fire blows, but with everyone I say, why won't you die? And the last one, I <laughs> punch him like straight in the nose. And... Well, roll to hit first. Yeah, we don't yeah. even know if you've hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's hit. I hit uh, 23. <laughs> yeah, okay. The bear just woken up from his day to state. <laughs> Has just gotten up on a, gotten up. He's wondering where the bloody hell am I? Is suddenly met with this half elf or what are you? Halfling. I'm a halfling. Halfling, halfling just swinging wildly <laughs> at his face again. Uh, roll the damage. Five. Uh, plus seven. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, Nineteen. That's enough. Tell me how you finish this bear off. The, the last punch when I yell die, I punch him straight like down in the nose. And oh. his, his face literally just like, I hit him and his face just goes straight into the ground. He Crunch. just crushed into the ground and he's like, not yeah. unco he doesn't look like he's sleeping no, anymore. Bear, he looks very dead. <laughs> the bear is, uh, is still and blood starts to pool beneath him. And uh, as, you, uh, as you bring the last life out of him with that final blow, his body starts to twist and morph and change slowly wriggling into the form of a naked, burly man with his head caved in on the ground. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. They're not real people. They're people. <laughs> they they transform. <laughs> that's, that's worse. Wait, yeah. Sheep, you weren't the only one? <laughs> yeah. How, uh, how I, many of these creatures are people? Sheep, when uh, are you going to transform into a huge water bear? A problem with... Yeah, <laughs> could you be a bear? Bah. <laughs> Why can't you talk? Well, you can't talk anymore. Ma! <laughs> Ma! Uh, uh, it is now your turn, Bob. My turn. Okay. Help. Um, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to drop my shield and pick my warhammer up with both hands. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack the, uh, the, the half-orc who's now actually in front of us, isn't he? Yes. He, he, yeah, he yeah. went past. You should move that. I should move it. Yeah. Him. So I'll, I'm going to I'm gonna attack the... Uh, he's, he's on the right, yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. attacking us. I'm going to attack him. So I have advantage on this? Yes. You have advantage on the, on the roll. Oh. oh. Uh, so what is that? Uh, 22. That's a hit. Okay. And then... All the damage for it. Oh, where's my, where's my D10? Uh, nine damage. Okay. Uh, and then with my uh, bonus action, I'm going to uh, cast Healing Word on <laughs> on the monk. <laughs> I'm going to cast Healing Word on Atlas because me and Atlas have been yep. attacked by this big orc person. Oh, finally. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Healing Word on him. How much does that heal me for? I don't know. Good question. Let me, let me find out. I believe it's 1d4 plus 4. Yeah, 1d4 yeah. plus 4. Well. Oh, great. Well, that's uh, 5. <laughs> I heal you for 5. I'm now at a respectable 10 health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus, really? <laughs> that's brutal. 
Uh, and yeah, that's the end of my go. Okay. He, uh, da, da, da. All right. The bear is dead. <laughs> so Barry doesn't get a go. Barry, Barry the bear. Barry the so bear. we have we have Gary, Barry, and yeah. Who knows? I assume the snake, Harry. the snake slash wolf is Larry. Larry or <laughs> Harry? I haven't decided yet. Yeah. But uh, it is now the wolf's turn, and there's a, a raging bonfire in between him and the rest of you. So. The wolf is actually going to slink and try and run away. He's going to use the bonfire as an opportunity to just try and run his way out of there after witnessing what mm. you've seen of the, the bear. So, yeah, he's going to try and do that. Uh, you get an opportunity of attack. Uh, mm. Hmm. Caleb. Do you let the wolf run, or do you attack it again? I think this wolf is a magnificent creature. <laughs> oh, okay, here we this go wolf, again. This, I, this I wolf would, has bitten you twice. I've, I've, this wolf has bitten me twice, but this wolf is not a wolf by his own choice. This wolf has, has clearly, at this point, I've seen a bear that was a person. I've seen a sheep that is a person. This wolf, I believe, is also a person. And if we can free this sheep of his sheeply bonds, we can free that wolf of his wolfly bonds, too. All we gotta do is just get him to stop trying to kill us. I but he seems like a right cunt doesn't he <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's probably a, a cunt day. in real life as well he's been on fire that was my bad i say <laughs> just let him just let, we'll see if we can bring him around later on. He's, right, he's gonna slink away and uh, and disappear into an alleyway as he starts to run off yeah uh, i'll follow him later goodbye uh so now you're just left with poor old gaz Poor old mm. Gaz. Yeah, poor Gaz old tried to kill Gaz. us. I yeah. don't Gaz, give a fuck Gaz about just Gaz. Gaz following <laughs> orders. You know, you you guys coming out swinging. He's just following orders. We didn't. You know he I mean? swung the first sword. Uh, All right, is true. Is it my turn now? It is your turn. Yeah. Can I? Can, I, I turn around, mm. and and Gaz is now three to one. All right, two of us. We're all us kind of banged up, but I still got the sheep, and his men have been just beaten down on the ground. He sees the dead bear that is no longer a bear. He sees the wolf has abandoned him, and I pull out all of my wonderful pyrotechnics and make the biggest display of sh force I can possibly imagine. Fireworks are shooting off behind me. I'm levitating in the air by some <laughs> magical sheer will, <laughs> and I say, how about that drink now, fucker? Ah. <laughs> uh. Gaz is going to take a step back. Can you roll an intimidation roll for me? Oh, 18 plus what? Oh, that's going to well, do it. Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus uh, one. Don't 19. worry. That's going to do it. <laughs> he, uh, Gaz is going to take a step back and uh, he is not enjoying it. So did you cast pyrotechnics? Um, it's a spell. So. Sure. Yeah, we'll, it's going to we'll use up one of your spell slots yeah, is fine. how it works. That's fine. Uh, he's going to take a step back now. Uh, a little bit un more uncertain of himself as he looks around his surroundings. The wolf is gone. Barry, his lover, dead on the floor. <laughs> his lover. Blood his lover. Okay, that's him. interesting. Wow. I mean, we, there was no way of us telling that. As a, <laughs> as a tear rolls down his eye, he whispers under his breath, Barry, I'm sorry. So what, he was having sex with him? So the half orc was fucking the bear. Uh, is, did they turn back into people at any point? I mean, they're, they're, they're not called bears for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Right, cool. Cool. Love what does he say? He said, I'm sorry, Barry, and then... He says, Barry, Barry my love. I'm sorry. And then a, a tear rolls down his face as uh, as he drops the uh, the great sword in front of him and kneels down on, on both feet and, and submits to, uh, to, to you three. Okay, I'm going to... Are we out of turns of initiative? Yeah, it's, a, it's out combat. of We're out of combat. Now. You're out of combat. I'd yeah. like to I'd like to cast hold person on him anyway. Okay. Just to, just to restrain him. Sure. He dropped the sword. The, 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 the bonds are not necessary. This man is, is willingly yielded to us in combat, Mr. Trulip. Uh, I absolutely uh, disagree. He is a hulking great behemoth. He towers about 17 feet we, above we, us. I think, Atlas is taller. We're fine. I, We're good. I'm not taller, but I... Who of us out of here just beat, out, beat down a bear? You just, just beat down a bear? Did you just admit someone was taller than you? No, okay. Maybe, you know, it's, not, it's not important. I need my pygmy I just beat down a bear, okay? I want everyone to, you know, mm. look at this. As this happens, like, as we sort of think, I walk over to the person with his face, like, caved in um, from me, and I, I, like, I turn to Barry and be like, what is this? You talk, you're turning to the dead person to, on to the gas? floor. No, uh, sorry, I've talked to, to Gary. To sorry, gas. Gas. Barry's dead. Uh, this is the master's work. He, he transforms us sometimes. Are you are you transformed? Were you originally a half orc? Are you all right? I'm, I've always been a half orc. What are you trying to imply? How do you feel about this nook guy? Nook? 
Yeah, do you like him? Oh, yeah, I, I, I love him. I treat him as he's my master at the end of the day. He doesn't, you know, doesn't see people for, for what they are on the he outside. He sees them for animals. Why, why would he do this to people? Do, they, do, do these people want this done? Oh, he doesn't care what we look on the outside. He just cares what we can do and what you can achieve. You know, I've been turned away from so many tribes in my life. He's found a place for me. I owe him my life. But he, he turned Maleficent here into a sheep, and I don't. It's, uh, he can't do no more now. Well, he doesn't you, seem very happy about it either. If you knew half the things that that sheep has done, then you would be siding with my master, I think. Sheep? Sheep, uh, what you doing? I said, now you can't talk. Now you can't talk, okay? Yeah, I don't fucking believe that. Yeah, I, 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 gotta, I squeeze him kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze him kind of hard. <laughs> maybe you, you, maybe read He's the scroll. Talking. Read the scroll again. Can Wait. we use the scroll's The scroll magic? is no. used up. Yeah, it's used up. It's a one-use thing. Oh. Uh, and uh, your, your knowledge of the arcanes, it, it suddenly pops back into your mind that you realize, oh, yeah, Scrolls are temporary. Oh, that was that was a thing. Yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't have squeezed the shit. I lost. I lost <laughs> in the adrenaline rush of the fight. I didn't realize. You can't talk no more. All right. Um, All right. Well, I don't tell tell us what this what this this fucker has done. What what? what? I want to talk to Noak. Where is Noak? I want to know what he's doing, and I want to talk to this person. Oh, the master will tear you limb from limb if you get sent to him. That's what they said about bears. Yeah, that's what they said about you too. I don't know. This is you're kind of all talk no bite today. Listen, and I've been bit twice. I don't want much. <laughs> you, you've taken one of the most precious things away from me in my life. I don't the, want you taking sheep? away a second. No, I think it was Barry. Bear. I think he's talking about. But the who, who the hell's Barry? My precious Barry on the floor who's bleeding out. Oh, oh, I. You did kind of cave his skull in. Yeah, sorry about that. We, th to be fair, we thought he was a bear. He was trying to kill me as well. Um, and if anything, this is your fault. So we, we did offer. To just to get we a did want to get you. drinks. We wanted drinks, and you you started attacking. Uh, yeah. I can still go for a drink. Yeah, this is I, still I'm yeah. down for a drink. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm mud parched. Yeah, Doesn't here's matter. the thing, Gash. You can if we will allow you to take the body of your your lover here and go bury him wherever the fuck you bury bears. But you gotta tell your master that the three greatest titans of the universe absolutely laid waste to you and your forces. And that if he wants to ever see this sheep again, he's going to have to just come and have a nice little right chat with us. So you're letting me go. As long as you say all that and you take care of this body because I don't want it laying out here in the road yeah. for the children to see tomorrow. We'll keep, the she we'll keep the sheep. Yeah, we keep the sheep. Yes, of course. Yeah. Also, is there a way to make that wolf not hate me? Yeah, what what's, the, what's that wolf's favorite food? What do you mean? Is, is, he, it, is he really a wolf? That's Harry. Yeah, what's Harry's favorite food? What's Harry like? Who the hell's Harry? I don't bloody know him. He was one of the guards that we recently hired. Can we? How many of them are you? Listen, you'll be finding that out soon enough if you like. What's me the go. fastest way to turn Harry out from being a wolf? Don't worry about it. No, that's, I want to worry okay, about. Okay, it. I have a little worry. Okay, you're not you're not going anywhere until you give fire us back in my hands. Did you forget about this already? Tell I me how to turn Harry out from you wolf. with anything. Well, I'm, I punch I'm him. Gonna... <laughs> no, I. <laughs> <laughs> hold on I try to hold Atlas back I hold him back I punch him Atlas he's already lost so much today I think I think we maybe have gained everything we're gonna I, gain I'm gonna, Mr. Gas. I'm gonna turn to these guys and kind of turn my back to him as well you know if we if we do let him go we could try and follow him find out where this Master Noak is sneak inside and I don't know steal a bunch of skulls or you know Trillip you're real shit at whispering I think he heard you huh I no what hello <laughs> what Okay. I'm, right, still right, casting whole, I'm still casting whole person on yeah, you. You don't do anything. Anyway. Fucking <laughs> What? Can huh? you break it? Can you break it? Say anything. Good. Yeah. You fucking better not have done. Yeah. Okay. Shh. Okay. Leave him over there. He's fine. All right. I see. But seriously, how are we going to sneak into Noak's most place? I've got it. He apparently Let's has a bunch figure. of animals. We have a sheep with us. We could, we could get a wolf too. Ma, ma. No, but the wolf doesn't like us. Ma, oh, ma. Ma. Harry's a cunt. I give him a big old steak. Yeah. Does do you? Would you be able to lead the way? Okay. So should we kill this guy? Oh, I, I don't know about that. I don't know. He's a, th th this fucker says this fucker's bad. I'm not a big fan of killing people. Me neither. Just, well, I don't mind business. it, but you know, this guy did try and kill us, but I don't know. Can we use him somehow? I, I'm down to follow. Are you asking Gary? No, no. We're, we're no, still we're we're conversing talking. off to the Shut side. Shut up, Gary. We're not talking to you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Gary. <laughs> <coughs> I'm, I'm down for tree loops. Let's follow him. Let him go. Let but him if we have the sheep, why do we need to follow him? We don't need a sheep. We don't need the. We don't need Barry, Gary. Mm. Well, if if you want to kill him, you I kill think him. The I, I I'm not gonna kill him. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna have a bite. 
because Lord knows I need more than a few bloody beers today. Mm. Uh, but uh, if you want to kill him, you kill him. I don't want to kill him. I want to go find that wolf. That was a damn nice wolf. <laughs> What's that? It's a guy, just so you know. Yeah, well, I, he, I know you're a, in he's love. He's a specimen. <laughs> 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 If I could ride that wolf, I would die happy. <laughs> I'm learning uh, new things about you. Uh, I, I got this. nothing. <laughs> wolf well, well ridden. Puts okay. me to bed nice. All right, but, okay, so you don't want to kill this guy. What I'm do not... we do with him? We can't leave him. He's going to come back and try and kill us probably. He's, oh. he's, he's fucking hurt. He, I just got to get the living daylights out of him. He's got to go more. He's got a funeral to plan for Barry. I, I think we probably should kill him. I just don't want to be the one to do it. Honestly. <laughs> I don't kill people if they aren't killing me first. He was killing us first. He didn't touch me. I was he yelling, was I killing was us first. I'll kill him. If we think we should kill him, I'll kill him. I'll go and have a beer. You can do it every yeah, you want. I'm yeah, going, I'm going in to have a beer. I, I just wander in. I'm just wandering. I follow him. I'm still holding the sheep. Hmm. So they walk in. Um, I, he's still under the whole thing? No, no. That's broken now. It's a concentration thing. When I when I walked off, I just drop it. Okay. So, ba- ba- uh, so um, Gary falls to the ground. Like, Mm-mm. you know, in the... You two have gone in, right? Yeah. yeah. That's just us? Yeah. What about the fucking wolf? Oh, I don't know the where the wolf is. slinked off. We don't know where he is. I have 10 health, by the way. Can you heal me before you leave? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should have asked me. No, I'm inside now. <laughs> <sighs> he's going to pick himself up and he's going to swing a punch at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we kind of butchered this, honestly. Yeah. 17. Okay. He's going to, he, as you've just basically, I mean, under the, you probably weren't under the impression that the holds were going to slip. Yeah. I no. imagine. Yeah. So as, the, as soon as he sees them slipping, he is just going to swing at you for a, a, a punch, which is, what is your AC? Uh, my AC is 15. Okay. He's going to swing at you, but you, you just about notice what's going on. You're going to step backwards and move out of the way of him as well. And uh, now he's going to start moving towards you, trying to grapple you. But it's your go. You get the next move. I, 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 say, I say to Gary, like, like, no one's hit me yet. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> and I fucking, fucking uh, unarmed strike him. If I unarmed strike him and then use flurry of blows again. Okay, roll to hit. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Ah, yeah, well, uh, ten plus your mod. That's already plus your modifier. Yes. Yeah, that's not a hit. Yeah, uh, Flurry of blows, but Gary. Wait, wait, wait. Can I use Flurry of blows? So that's my... Oh, no, yeah, that's how we work. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, Gary, you know, moved on from his... Or, or being being pushed onwards and, uh, and, and sort of channeling the energy of his dead lover bleeding out on the floor next to him. Wait, uh, actually... I can use my bonus act. Oh no, because I use flare. Fuck. Can I wait? How would it work? Would I hit try and hit him and then use my bonus attack to yeah. use flare yeah, blows? I think it's the, so. The if I miss hit. my attack, can I use my bonus action, which I would use for flare blows? No, because you don't roll to hit. I mean, it, basically, the way I'm looking at it is, yeah, I use it's just yeah, the one yeah, attack. I just and the, yeah, okay. okay if one fine. connects, then yeah. all of them do. The yeah, he he he's been he's kind of channeling the fucking spirit of Muhammad Ali. He's moving like a. <laughs> Like a butterfly out oh, here, shit. right? Right. And he's right. about to sting like a bee as he's sided stepping all over. All of your flurry of blows, you're letting out all sorts of cries, but it doesn't even matter. He's Omaya Wamu Shindaru in you right now. He's about to start coming from the side. <laughs> that doesn't you know even make mean? any sense. <laughs> what language is that? What was that from? Uh, and he's gonna go to hit you, and he's gonna connect with an unarmed punch straight in your straight in your face, and he's gonna hit you for four damage as he uppercuts you. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Gary, you hit like a girl. (laughs) (sighs) This girl's about to put you in your grave. What the fuck? What in the Lord's name are you doing on this iPad? You are just butchering. (laughs) He just killed himself and then resurrected himself (laughs) to six health. I'm just watching a boomer at work. Uh (laughs) Alright, it's your go if you want to try and make something happen. Alright, um, I go for Flurry of Blows again. Hmm. And in the meantime, we're just in in the in the bar. (laughs) Just well, you it, roll a perception check, you two, as you walk in. Five. Um, plus something? Yeah, plus your perception skill. I've got a 17. 
Okay. So you do... Nine. Uh, Josh, your character, Bob, is going to hear just the, the sound of uh, a bit of a scrap and uh, what sounds like a halfling, very familiar sounds of him going... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, but the sounds of immediately being met with a boom. <laughs> uh, and that's what you're picking up from outside. Right, right. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I, I think we need to go back outside. I, I, I think I let my hold slip. <laughs> I kind of forgot what Wait, you mean, you mean you might be not killing him right now? Oh, well, I, let's go back. We haven't even gotten the drinks yet. Let's yeah. just go. Let's well, just... you, you go outside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep getting the drinks. It should only require that one of us. Uh, you, I, I stormed fire, the door. Fire water I don't again? even want to. I don't want to hear it. Okay. I you always gonna do the freaking hard work around here. You get one more. I toss the sheep at you. Hold okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I grab the sheep and I put the sheep down next to me, so I'm not holding the sheep. I'm just grabbed a hold of its fur. Yeah. While I've ordered my drinks. All right. I step outside. Uh huh. So you get one more action before uh, Caleb's character comes into the. Do I see them the yet? Fight. I, no. I don't see him yet. Yeah. Uh, I use player boys. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Start Please swinging. Please not be a shit roll. Anyway, uh, sixteen. Yeah, that's a hit. Okay. I. Okay. Here we go. Fuck you, stupid uh, tall half orc. Seven. Eight, Fifteen. Oh, you just got twenty-two. So much Jesus, damage. the damage is outrageous. Twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah, you are essentially the fist of the North Star on this guy. <laughs> You're unleashing blow after blow after blow into all sorts of his body parts, into the kidneys, into his legs, into his face, into his chest. You're feeling crunched bones and sounds of agony as he's spluttering up blood as you pound into him over and over and over again with your fists. Uh, and you do a very significant amount of damage to him. In fact, so much so that he staggers back for a little bit. I want to use my... Um like after the flare of blues, I like sweep his leg and I go for a uh, deck saving throw of eleven to knock him down to the ground. Okay. Uh, okay. He uh, he catches himself just as you go for the swing of the legs and is gonna step backwards quickly just to get out of range of your legs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, Caleb. Your character is now walking through mm -hmm. the uh, the doors and you see. Uh, Custer's character, Atlas, just absolutely pounding the ever-loving shit out of Gary <laughs> uh, with his fists yes. and uh, knocking him a couple of uh, a couple of bits back uh, as he tries to go for a sweeping roundhouse down, low kick, whatever you want to call it, to try and sweep him. But Gary steps backwards. Uh, what what do you want to do? Um, I, I I can tell he's taken another hit. Can I can I yeah, yeah, can I need to roll yeah. for that? Is that fine? No, you, you can you can I, tell. I, I don't look so good. You you I'll, you've I'll clearly been way. beat up. And I'm like this. This dude had, freaking takes down a bear, but then a guy that was restrained couldn't seem to just finish it off in one single blow. I want I want to cast mage armor onto him. Okay, um, yeah, you'd have to go up to him and touch him. Oh, I have to touch him. Uh, I have but to touch him. Yeah, I'd also say it's your uh, armor uh, AC is what it's fifteen. Fifteen wouldn't really be worth doing. Okay, I don't think because it's That's only right, really for unarmored people. Okay, never mind. Like yourself or um. Whatnot. Mm. You, you're so far away, but you are really. Do I see him come guy. out? Can I say, tell Bob I fucking hate him? Yeah, yeah. You okay. see him come out. You can say that to him yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. I, I, I see you. I see you. You, you successfully pummel this per, poor person, but you are also just so beat up yourself. And I'm like, we'll, we'll talk later. Let's just finish this now, since you're so determined to end his poor life. Um, and I cast scorching ray. Scorching ray. Yeah. Woo! I'd like. Okay. Let's just finish this now so we can go in and drink. Okay, so roll. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm casting all of the bolts. All three of them. Yes. Yeah. Are you casting it as a level two spell? Or, or actually, it is a level two spell. So you're mm. casting it as that. This would be my second. Yeah, the second level two spell you've cast. Uh, roll 3d20s for me. 3d20s. Just to see if he. Oh, Jesus. I thought you meant that was the damage. 17. 17. Yeah. 13. Yep. And a 5. Okay. So two of them are going to hit and connect. So roll... 2d6s? 2d6s. 4d6s. 4d6. Holy moly. 5, 11, 13, 18. 18 damage. Describe to me... This spell is... Oh, man. I just walk out. I'm like, God, he's not... He's not... 
Disc- How have you not finished him? I, I'd leap into the air, and if you've ever seen Lux from League of Legends, just like, yeah. whoop, and then like all the limbs come forward as just an absolutely blinding beam of light. You, you can see it about three ca- counties away. Death Star <laughs> like, beam. Yes, <laughs> just it, it is daylight in yeah. this in this alley for just a moment. And then at the other end, there's a smoldering heap of ash. Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. In in place of his bodies, what was once Gary is now just his legs. His upper torso <laughs> has been torn into. It's evaporated. Uh, and you're just left with the entrails and the legs as it just collapses onto the floor. Uh, I, I, I spit where his like, <laughs> legs are. <I> guess, <laughs> his legs are. And I look at uh, Anitis and say, I had it. And I like walk past <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, sure you fucking did. All right, let's try. And I walk past him into the bar. <laughs> And then I walk into the bar. But uh, at that point, I've, uh, <clears throat> I've, I, now you know I shouldn't have, but I gave the sheep a beer. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, just killed bah! Gary. We just ki- killed Gary. If that sheep dies, we have no way to find the fucker that tried to kill us. I'm pour- I'm like halfway through pouring a beer down the sheep. To be fair, we, I, think just- <laughs> <laughs> I, I reach over, I yank the beer out of his hand. I told you it will kill him. I you don't can't, think I he, don't think it'll kill him. No, he's, he's, he's the, the sheep is him. retching. There, there is no. <laughs> In his defense, <laughs> he is part human. Is a safe bet I, at this point. He is, so he, is. he might make it. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. To be <laughs> fair, he is a magic sheep. I, I asked him whether he wanted some, and he said "bah." <laughs> so I thought that was yes. That could have been nah. I. It could have been actually at, the, <laughs> at this point. Is is he good? Okay, sheep. How you doing? <laughs> I think it's time we all slept. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep is uh, is stumbling all over the place, <laughs> stumbling all over the shop. He's moving around all over the place. Uh, yeah. Uh, at this point, it's up to you where you want to take the night. Really, I mean, you, you've you, you're you're. Own, I'll be honest with you. This is speaking out of character, and I'm kind of breaking the fourth wall, if you will. But you've killed one of your leads, <laughs> and uh, the other one. Uh, you have just intoxicated as a <laughs> sheep. <laughs> so, okay. uh, yeah. I mean, where, where, wherever you want to take the oh. night, go ham, lads. All right, all right Bob. <coughs> what were you thinking? Okay, we need the sheep. He is either Im- useless for the next 12 hours or he's going to die. One of the two. No, I, I, I wouldn't say that he's useless. Um... I would say that he probably needs to sleep a little bit, though. <laughs> All right. I need to sleep a little bit as well. You, f- you, I want him to heal me right now. I want you to heal me. I am fucking... I have to fight that fucker. <laughs> and I had him if I had a little bit more health, but I thought he was going to be under yeah, restraints sure for the start. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Cure Wounds on, uh, on, on Custer, mm-hmm. which is 1d8 plus 4 of healing. I heal you for five again. <laughs> <laughs> I get healed to 11. I feel like, I feel the foil of like healing and I feel better, but then I realize like, and then I sort of like shrug and I go, that's it? Well, I've had a couple. You're, you're <laughs> useless. And I leave and I go upstairs ah, to a bedroom to and a bedroom. I fucking close the door. Crashing out for the night, huh? Uh, the barkeep is going to walk over to the two of you and say, mm-hmm. uh, so I'll take it you'll be taking a room for the night? I would like a room, please. Okay, uh, I, I, I don't know where your friend has just walked to. I, he found himself his own room, I'll, I guess. I put, I put cash on the table. I'm like, just whichever room he's in, assuming uh, there was nobody else in it, please. Yes, sir. Yes, we I, didn't mean no harm. I, I will say as well, we, we don't normally allow animals in the establishment, but uh, in this case... I, well, I, my I, friend Atlas is perfectly fine. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> Yes, oh, yes. you mean the sheep? <laughs> yes, the sheep. The sheep. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. oh yes. Yes. Uh, uh, But but uh, as you were so kind to take the uh, the brawl and alter altercation outside of my walls, um, uh, and you didn't really mess the place up, I can let it slide. Beautiful. Can I please have a room with a window by Absolutely, the street? Absolutely. Yes. Please? Yes. I would yes, like to keep a little bit of watch. Uh-huh. Could I? I don't know. You got a you got a cot for the sheep. I don't know where he normally I sleeps, mean, and now he's pissed. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Sir, really I see. mean, I own a bar. I, I've never really even <laughs> touched a sheep in my life. I've touched many a sheep, and trust me, any hotel room is a palace for a sheep. I think oh, you will be just fine. You might yes. need double the cleaning room and the cleaning duty people in the morning. Just, I, I see, yes. Just, just duly yes. noted. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll lock him in my room. Yeah, well, you'll lock him your, in the bathroom. Your rooms will be the, uh, the, first, uh, the first two on the left, um, providing your friend has not already taken one, in which case, just take the next one on the left. Okay, I, I 
I, I'm going to sit down here and drink for a little longer and watch out for the sheep because I, I don't really feel safe. I don't going. trust you with the sheep. You try to intoxicate it. We need him walking in the morning. I didn't try to intoxicate the you sheep. Did. You I, did. Did, did. Name another definition for pouring beer down his gullet. I gave him pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But he's going to bed now. He, he, needs to sleep. he has been dry and sober for the last two years. Well, if we turn him back into a person, he can tell you just how much fun it was to be drunk as a sheep. I, I mean, I'd fucking love that. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if we can get there. Let's go to bed. Uh, so you're going to bed? Yeah. Okay. I think this is a good place to uh, have an intermission because okay. we've been at it for an hour, 30 now, yep. give or take. So take a short break. Um, Are we taking a long rest as That's well? That's a long rest. Though. Long rest as well from this point. Um, and with movie magic, this will be edited together. So there will be no break <gasps> at all. Wow. Time. All right. Edited back. Magic tricks. I'm in a robe. Somehow we've got Heineken beers. They're now a sponsor of Castles and Castles. Please. Who would have known that? That That's would crazy. be excellent. Yeah, that would help a lot. We're back. Welcome. The intermission is done. We've definitely not spent the last hour and a half playing Mario Party and eating pizza. Um, <laughs> we have, we have, we we have been very astute. We were washing the floor. We were actually yep. just getting into character. Getting into character. Practicing <laughs> our voices and over and over again. And fucking shit. No. <laughs> no. 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 That's next week. The, uh, okay. So to give you guys um, uh, a reminder of what just occurred, the people at home already know because, again, movie magic, it's all being edited together. But you're, you're, you're rested, presumably, in the tavern. Yep. You might be hungover. You try to force feed a sheep beer. Oh, I successfully you succeeded. Yeah, is a weird one. Yeah. Bob definitely succeeded. And uh, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a brand new morning. The bartender, the barkeep is downstairs serving breakfast to those what who want it. What happened to the guy I knocked out? You knocked out? The regular patron. The regular, regular drunk patron. We drew the he's not there person. anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not there anymore. Unfortunately. And they must have shuffled him away, but... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you're, you're met with the sounds of clattering and children playing outside and merchants shouting at one another, trying to get better deals on their wares. And uh, again, it, it's a brand new morning. You're meeting yourselves. Presumably I, you're all going to meet downstairs. Well, I wake up and I scan my room because I locked the sheep in my room last night, but I had to go to sleep before he went to sleep because he was, he was drunk. So I don't really know what was happening during the middle of the night with the sheep. Is he in my room? <laughs> Is that you, Mr. Sheep? He's going to start chewing and pulling your f skin. My skin? <laughs> well, presumably, presumably you didn't go to sleep in your clothes. Le leave me be, you stupid sheep. That's my fourth roll. <laughs> Give me back. Give me back. <laughs> this flab didn't make itself. <coughs> you, uh, can you still understand what I say? <coughs> well, let's, go, let's do this. One bar for yes, two bars for no. Are you a sheep what isn't a sheep? <laughs> bar? That seems like a very timid bar, but I guess I'll go with it. Um, are you uh, 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 the uh, the master wizard? The, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Bar? Shine bright. Bar. Right, okay then. Uh, I guess I'll that take was, you downstairs. That was two. Huh? That was two bars. Oh shit, that was two bars. <laughs> it was two questions though. <clears throat> Are you a different person in disguise? <laughs> as a sheep ba, ba. disguised as shine bright. Ba, ba. I think I've confused the sheep. <laughs> while, the, while this terrible interaction is happening, I'm just staring out the window at the cart of dead people that has rolled up to pick up the two dead people that are currently, or the one dead person and the two dead legs. Mm. Just puts them on the cart and just continues to roll on to pick yep. up more dead people. Yeah, they, they've been through this, you know. When the adventurer yeah. types roll through, who knows what's happening. No, dead people uh, everywhere. Dead people all over the bloody shop. But uh, the, the sheep is now making his way to the front, uh, front door I, of the I, establishment. I grab him by the scruff of the neck. I, I, come, ah! here. come here, you little, little shit. I don't know where you're going. Ah! Come and meet my friends. I need to sort you out, you weird fucking uh, are we ah! Are we ready to leave? I, I'm, I have all of my things packed. Well, I what? didn't do much. What's, what's the plan? I could do with a beer, honestly. We can get one to go. We'll fill up the wineskins. But I think I'm already at the bar drinking. I think we're just <laughs> following the sheep at this point. You want to follow the sheep? Y yes. What if he has to do sheepy things? Like, what if he suddenly is overtaken by a desire to go and eat grass, and we just end up wandering around fields for the next 30 hours? The, the, if he needs to eat some grass, we'll let him eat some grass. But I don't, I don't, think, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I feel like happen. the sheep wants to get there more than we do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, the, the sheep. The sheep's been a sheep for two years. Ah! Remember, he's not actually a sheep. Ah! <laughs> and you finally made him drunk. He hasn't been drunk in two years, so now he's trying to get good. Ah! We Did didn't even eat? know if you enjoyed the drunkenness. Did you enjoy it? Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Do, would you like some more? Bah. Oh, I mean that was that. a yes by your your code. Hey, that is <laughs> true. <laughs> well, well, we need him to guide us to the oh, right I, directions. He can I, have a beer after we get wherever the fuck we're going. Yeah. I, so what's what the hell is the plan? Because we go, we get the sheep who's promised us thousands and thousands of gold nah. and really important heirlooms that will, I'm sure will sell or be valuable. And if he lies to us, we kill the sheep even after he's a human. I don't know. This is the part I'm still hesitant about because he what? becomes a really strong wizard. I'm telling you, they write songs about him down in Gloucestershire. Mm. But uh, we have the apprentice. I've been to Gloucestershire. No, we don't. We, the the, the, the apprentice people. wants us dead. So yeah. everyone wants us dead. Oh, well, we don't know if the sheep well, wants we us don't, dead. We don't know about this guy. Okay, right? sheep. If we rescue you, will you promise not to kill us? Oh, I'm sure ah. he'll. I'm, I'm sure he'll say no. I will actually this'll kill be, you. This will be the first time I take the word of a sheep. But in our defense, fuck you. And if you turn against us, then we will group turn you back into a sheep again. You're a wizard, right? right. You can do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mo- totally mo- do that. Don't most wizardy types require some kind of force to channel their magic through? I mean, if he turns back, he's just going to be a weird, naked-looking man on the floor. I'm, that is true. I'm bored. Let's do it. Let's follow the sheep. Here he goes. Okay. Uh, I feel like we need a system because we shouldn't be just clip-clopping our way through the stony little uh, <sighs> avenues and alleys. No, shut up, Mr. <sighs> sheep. <laughs> Your hooves make a lot of noise. I don't know whether you realize, but the whole reason we found you in the first place was because you were making a ruckus outside. We that do not want to be making his, a ruckus. His only we... form of communication is ruckus. Well, what, is you, about, what do you propose? How, how about, about we get him some shoes? How about shoes? You want to put clogs on the fucker? Why not? He'll be a lot more stealthy that way. Well, how about he goes bar for left, bar bar for right? That's as much ruckus as the cloth. Why don't we just follow the sheep? Why do we need a system? Once he gets on the dirt, it won't be that loud. Him. Well, I don't know. I don't like it, but I'm, I'm down Are to you try drunk it. again? It's the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, okay. We'll follow right. the blood. We stop for wine, fill up the wine skins, follow the sheep. We got roadies. Hey. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I think we should be hidden, though. I, I've got a, a spell that I learned from, uh, from to get out some, of To get out of town. Should we, should we get to the edge of town Is first? there a spell that v- disguises someone going. as fat as you? Oh, there are actually. I. It's a very powerful spell. I'm impressed. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful <laughs> spell. It is. Make, sheep, uh, sheep, bar as many times as it is far away. <laughs> In kilometers, please. Yes. Not the stupid imperial system. Oh, I lost count. All right, that's, enough, ba, that's enough that it's out of ba, town. Okay. That's quite fucking far away. <laughs> Should okay. we get a wagon, though? Can we walk that far? I think we'll be able oh. to walk. I mean, he's not going to go in a bloody wagon, is he? We've well, got to follow him anyway. He's not going to drive well, he, the wagon. He's going to walk, obviously. Wait, I lost can my, we get horses? I, I lost my wagon license three weeks ago. It was well, okay. I don't know. We probably need horses at this point. Horses? We've got a sheep. What if we can ride the We horse? can't ride the sheep. Uh, can we ride the sheep? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think we should follow him on foot for now, and then we'll see when we get to the edge of town. Okay, okay, well, when, okay when you fucking pass out because of exhaustion, because you can't walk more than 500 meters without passing out, then we'll have a problem. Well, make sure you... Put some wine in the water skins, <laughs> otherwise I will be. I think out. we get enough liquor in him; he'll be just fine. Yeah, that's true. Here. Bah. I, y- you don't know me. <laughs> we you put don't. you down on the ground. You keep your opinions to yourself. Leave. Yeah. Lead on, sheep. If you ever want to have a person leg again, uh, you, 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 you lay him down. You lay down, old uh, shine bright, and he starts trundling on his merry way, picking up very eager pace. This is the first time that he's felt that he has a purpose in two years. Other than eating grass and shitting out said grass <laughs> on the grass of which he later eats. So he is very eager to, to get moving. And uh, he weaves you in and out and eventually you pass enough houses and you pass enough wagons. And you find your way out of the town and you're led down a well-traveled road. Something that you know you, you, many travelers and, and merchants and whatnot will be passing in and out of. Uh, but eventually he leads you off the beaten track. And you start making your way deeper and deeper into the woods. And it gets to a reasonable point. The sun reaches the pinnacle in the in the sky and the heat is beating down on you as well as, you know, a gentle reminder that you are steadily approaching into summer. And he leads you 
from one way, from right to the left, and it almost does feel like a bit of a labyrinth, but it's it's not without a purpose. You can definitely tell that there's, there's no leading you astray here. This is a route that the man has walked many times, or the sheep has walked many times before when he was once a man, uh, and past many well-aged oak trees, eventually you start to find your way into signs of civilization. So if you could roll a perception check for me, 15. 6. Good lord. <laughs> 12. So some of the 12. more well-traveled of you, namely just Bob, um, <laughs> spots that, you know, the the, bo the broken twigs and the uh, the, the many footprints and the, the flat-packed mud signifies that around here. a lot of people are traveling mean? through these parts. A lot of people traveling through these parts. <laughs> <laughs> Very... <laughs> Mm. Very astute of you, Bob. Keep mm. it up. I I think now would potentially be a good time to uh, uh, to uh, be a little stealthy. Oh, okay. Uh, now, uh, Miss Miss Mr. Sheep, Ma, uh, would you say we're within you know say half an hour of approaching upon oh, this ma, place? Ma. I, okay. Well, I I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast this uh, this spell that I've I've learned. I will say I was drunk when I first learned it, <laughs> but it's uh. It's that means you'll be good at it. Possibly. Well, he's not very drunk right now. Wait a second. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Pass without trace. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be sold. Okay. <coughs> I feel invisible. Okay. Now. You cast <laughs> so Pass happy. Without Trace. Pass Without Trace. It's concentration spell up to an hour mm -hmm. and it adds plus 10 to all of our uh, stealth, stealth oh, checks. Stealth checks. We can't be tracked except by magical means. So mm -hmm. we're not leaving any trail behind us. Good thing us. we're not chasing after a wizard. Well, the we'll, sheep we'll, we'll, we'll. seems to be impressed. He raises a sheepy eyebrow. Ma. Ma. Oh. <laughs> he raises a sheepy <laughs> eyebrow. Ma. Um, and he leads you ever so closer, but definitely being more cautious of his uh, with his hoofs. His uh, his stepping quite cautiously around, trying to be a little bit more sneakily, uh, traveling to and from point A to point B, which sort of signifies to all of you that you are getting close to the destination. And as you come out of the woods and pass the final oak tree, you come out to a large clearing. And what you come to expect of, uh, of the house and the dwellings of this mage, you probably were expecting, you know, the, the typical stone castle and whatnot, but it's nothing quite like that, actually. Rather than stone or glass, the house before you seems to have been formed from the living branches of four sturdy oak trees. And these have been shaped and woven to create three thick platforms. That's with two C's, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And mm. Uh, you can see it on the battle map Damn. here. And what they are is the lowest of the platforms is roughly around 40 uh, feet across and sits about 10 feet from the ground. And there are gentle slopes forming to actually reach and, and get inside of it um, leading up to it. Um, which is, if I'm to point it on the map, that section right there. Uh, you know, the obvious route up, or the only obvious route up that you can see is the uh, the slope formed, obviously, of the roots and branches that's, that's connecting with this main path that's being drawn. And the branches, they curl around the base of it, creating a rough bowl shape uh, around the baseline. And where you stand, you can, you can kind of just make out the flowers and small trees growing around the edge and, and the base of it as well. But by far, the largest of the three platforms is the middle one. And it looks to be around 60 feet across and about 20 feet above the ground, fully enclosed with a wall formed from twisting branches. And you can see evenly spaced window-sized gaps, as well as what appears to be a door at the point closest to the garden platform. And then finally, the tallest platform is 30 feet above the ground, much smaller than the others. It's the one, as you can see, just on that section over there. And it looks to be linked to the central platform by another small sloping bridge. Scattered beneath the platforms are two small wooden huts and a large outhouse. You also notice as well, three giant apes playing around with a little kickball that they've fashioned out of leather and, mm. uh, and leaves. Oh, I'm like, oh, wow. Mm. 
outhouse. Great. Walk straight over in, lock the door. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need to relieve myself. He's very stealthy, let's remember. <laughs> the door just randomly opens and shuts as far as the apes are concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Bren is fucking lost. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> As you close the door to the outhouse, you turn around and you, you've managed to definitely avoid a lot of the apes. They were too concerned with the ball, you know. You were far too stealthy under the, the Cloak of Shadows that was being performed by Bob here. But as you turn around, you notice the effects of the spell just seem to wear off as you uh, remove yourself out of line of sight. And uh, you turn around and see a brown bear sitting on the <laughs> toilet <laughs> shitting. <laughs> and he just stares at you. I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that this one was taken. And I probably realized <laughs> I shut the door quickly behind me as I leave. <laughs> Uh, this attracts the attention of the apes as they turn around and they just see you stood in front of the outhouse, door closed, when all of a sudden the outhouse rips open. <laughs> Everyone roll for initiative. Oh, Woo! for fuck's <laughs> sake. Fuck. Bloody... Oh, what's the character's name again? Anitis. Anitis, what the fuck, man? Bloody you Anitis. You put it in the shit. We have just been walking through the woods. Why don't you take a shit in the woods? I rolled a nine. Oh. <laughs> Thirteen. I rolled a what? Oh, wait, is that a seven or a... That's a seven. Uh, I rolled a... Eleven. Mm. Oh, good lord. God, Anitis, we talked about this. My read on the situation was that it was a you friendly place. You rolled an eleven? Thirteen? Yeah. Thirteen. And nine? Yeah. Yeah, yes. okay. Yeah. Uh, That's plus the four. Bob, Atlas. Do we get the element of surprise at least? Because the well, bear was not do. expecting it. Well, we're still hidden. You guys oh, are that's still true. hidden. You it's, are. So you two are still hidden. Should we leave him hidden. behind? I feel like he's had a good run. Help <laughs> 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 me! We've been friends for years. We're just going to abandon him to a bear that was taking a shit. <laughs> isn't four isn't apes. the entire phrase, does a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> and instead, this bear shits in an outhouse. How unlikely. I mean, bear, obviously he's a man. Uh, he used to be a man. <laughs> the bear is going to uh, take a swipe at you. Oh, okay. yeah. he's going to go first. Right, where, where is everyone on this Yeah, on right. this combat map? So, we're uh, underneath all of this, yes? Jesus Christ. So, the, uh, the bear has just come out of here. <laughs> That's Phenomenal. The These are apes, even though one of them is a bear. Okay. <laughs> obviously. Um, and this is you. <laughs> <laughs> oh great that's well, a good spot to be yeah well we would be large. we would be within 30 feet of him is that within 30 feet he walked to the yes. outhouse very quickly sure. I feel like we would have stopped him otherwise yeah I mean when yeah, a man's gotta go a man's gotta go I guess <laughs> the uh yeah so the bear is gonna swing you it's gonna hit you and it's gonna make two attacks at you and the first one is a hit it's gonna bite you Square once again on the chest. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, Jeez. you just all these strange animals I attracting you. Huh? I know, man. you're just, just chowing down on. He's gonna hit you for oh. eight damage. Boy, oh, boy. God. Luckily, as he goes to maul you, just amount managed to free yourself out of the the maws of the beast, and uh, you you back off ever so slightly, and you just about miss his claws coming down on you. Okay. Now it's the ape's turn. As the apes are gonna now, all three apes turn around. All three of them. Oh my god! Am I, am I, am I dead? You, you may Maybe. have just am been absolutely and brutalized. One of them is gonna come up close. The other one is a little bit late to the uh, to the game and only realizes what's going on as uh, as the bear comes literally breaking out of the outhouse. But one of the apes is now going to uh, start attacking you as well. And this is not just your standard ape. Now, th this great ape seems to be wielding a sword, mm. which would signify some sort of intelligence. He was playing football with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the swords, so the swords were embedded in the ground next oh. to them. I refrain to mention that. Right, as goalposts. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they are. It's funny Why are you helping they were, him? They were playing, they were playing a, just a, a little bit of cook around. But luckily, ah. this ape, having been caught off guard from no, not only the bear shitting and bursting out of the outhouse, <laughs> but also just a man appearing out of nowhere, um, swings at you wildly with two strikes 
uh, and misses both. Luckily, the other two apes were not as quick on the mark, and they've only just started rising to their feet. So you got off easy this time around. Mm. But Bob, you are witnessing all of this. You've just seen this bear literally break open an outhouse. How do you want to respond to it? What are the advantages you get from attacking from stealth? So you get advantage on your attacks. Right, okay. Yes. Um, oh my god. I, I, I'm so tempted to leave you to die and maybe try and help you, like, recover you later. I think... Um, I'm going to... I'm going to cast a Bane on the, on the bear... Mm -hmm. The great ape and one of the other apes. Okay. Uh, so this... Um, uh, three creatures must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target fails this saving throw... That, whenever a target that fails this saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw, uh, they have to subtract a d4 from their mm. uh, roll. And what is the saving throw for? Uh, 14. 14. So how, how, whether this bear has a charisma of 14, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Incredibly so. charismatic great apes, are they? <laughs> no, no, actually, uh, the complete opposite. <laughs> In fact, uh, one of them is is so. What is what is the spell exactly? The, uh, this Bane spell. It's Bane. It's um, other than the villain from Batman. So I'm basically it's the opposite of a blessing. I'm essentially cursing yeah. them so that they have disadvantage on uh, a bunch of their stuff. So I'm I'm weaving cl my cleric magic from my yes. god and spewing it forwards onto them from the shadows. Well, as you spew it onto them, you drop concentration of your shadow ability. Oh bugger! I forgot. So about now that. you are completely visible. Oh shit! Uh, which means that well, you no longer get advantage on your rolls. Who's got the bloody sheep? The sheep the is on the ground. hiding by the oak tree, just <laughs> peering. <laughs> Watching this unfold, wondering whether or not he made the mistake of hiring <laughs> you three. Um, I feel like one of the three was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the two of them, well, one of them is affected by it. It's the ape at the back who's affected by it. The bear and the other closest ape are not affected by it. Okay. Um, so wait, which one? The, sorry, which one? That's actually so the one at the first back is going to okay, be affected yeah. by it's, it. Uh, that guy's and, really struggling today. And he, yeah, I mean, he critically failed it, <laughs> which normally doesn't really mean anything for spell checks. But in this case, uh, I'm just going to homebrew this shit and just say uh, it's just going to double the effect of it. So, right, so he's a D8. It's a D8, it? yeah, going to okay, take away from. So he's useless. He's probably just helping us because we are so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, okay, wait, wait a second, because uh, with the... the, uh, the with my movement, now that the uh, thing has dropped, I'm going to advance forwards to uh, to help okay. out. Uh, what you call it? How far? Uh, I'm going to advance forward uh, within ten feet of them. Okay. Uh, yep, and uh, that's it. All right. Because I have the element of surprise, I assume they don't attack me when I get close enough to them. The your stealth bonuses are gone, and they. Well, I haven't done anything. Yeah, but I dropped the spell. He dropped his spell. I dropped the spell on you. I was the one that was keeping so, us all on, in the shadows. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Yeah, unless you were consciously making the the the, uh, the decision to hide on top of the spell. Can I? Can I? Because I haven't been noticed, and the spell. You can disengage. Off, can, I, can I do a stealth? Can I do a spell stealth roll mm -hmm. to see yeah. if I do it? Stay stealthy. Do it. Roll uh, a stealth check for me. Stealth check. Nice. Four. Okay, well... <laughs> but no, plus six is ten. Ah, well, you uh, you attempt to just try and disengage, but then you realize, ah, actually it's noon and there's sunlight everywhere. <laughs> and uh, you're just as visible as the day you were born. Funny about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I don't have the advantage anymore. Um, uh, Atlas, yeah, it is your go. It's my go. you got to start punching people. So if I get close enough to them, they're going to attack me, right? That's how the game... Like, that's how... No, no, you don't get an opportunity attack when you get close. Get close. You, okay. Only when you move away. All right, I move to like behind the bear. Like I run up behind the bear, so that in the remnants of this outhouse. Yeah, like in the remnants of the outhouse. Yeah. I walk up to him and I use my tried and true, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Uh, Let me guess, you're gonna punch him. What? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch a bear uh, again. Do it. Do it. <laughs> It seems to be my specialty right now. Yeah, roll to hit. Roll to hit. All right, come on. Don't be useless again. All right, I have uh, 11. That oh, no, 17. A, Sorry, that 17. That is a hit. 
Yeah. All right, 17. All right, and then let's mess a bear up again. Round two. Mm-hmm. Okay. How many chi points do you have? No, I got all of them back. I have four, oh, but right, I get all of them right. back because we just did a long you rest. just did a long rest. Okay, yeah. so I get six. Whew, uh, 14, and then 19. 19 Not bad. damage. And then I... I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but I want to use my... Um, my strength saving throw, so DC 11 against the bear, and I want to push him. Yeah, I know. Good luck. But I want to try and push him into the other bear, uh, into the gorillas. Okay. I'm kind of in the way, right? Yeah, you do realize he's in the, in the Is way. Is he in the way? I feel like the way I'm I mean, yeah, you could try and. Sh yeah, I, I'll give you that. You can try and shove him as you just literally you battered him again with your fist. <laughs> you Was that 19 right? damage? Yeah, 19. Mm. It's, it's 1D, uh, 1d4 plus 4. Times three. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to adjust. There's and no, the bear now has no bear. 40 health instead of 20. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. And you're going to try and do a strength check to... DC 11. DC 11. Oh, he's going to pass that. Yeah. And that was... more. Yeah. Oh, he's shit. just literally... Uh, as you try and... Use your momentum and flurry of punches to try and shove the bear. Well, what I want to do is when I punch him, after I punch him, he sort of like staggers a little. Yeah. And then I just want to like hit him with the forearm of my fist to try oh. and push him. And I assume that doesn't work. That doesn't work. There's a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of mass of this bear. There's a lot of mass. Yeah, he remains standing. Uh, Aniitis, however you mm. want to say your name. I've actually completely forgot At how it's pronounced. At this point, I feel like it's Idiotus. Is, is, Ani <laughs> Anitus? Shititus oh. is also... <laughs> Shit is everywhere. Come yeah. on. <laughs> there, is, there is feces everywhere. In my pants, outside. I of my completely pants. forgot, but the bear covered in feces. Oh. Yeah. And I just right now is realizing he drastically misread the situation yeah. and <laughs> thought they were friendly apes. Did not seem did, did, very misread. Um, he is absolutely. <laughs> and there's a hole, a gaping hole, bleeding out of his chest right now. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I think a knight is, is, is absolutely just petrified of what's going on. Is there any fire around? I, I'm scanning for fire while I'm relaying. Is there there's, any, there's no fire There's around. no visible, like, no there's visible not like, a, like, a, like, a, no, like a torch. Yeah, there's or no like torches. A little, yeah. There's a lot of kindling. Game. Yeah, yeah that, no, that does significantly limit the amount of things I can do, though. Um, Shit. And, I don't and, think so. You could... You got a lot of spells you can cast. No, but almost all those spells are finds fire within the area. and Not and necessarily. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of them are. A lot of them are. Um, there, there are, there are some damage spells I can do. Oh, you're, you're thinking, you're trying to be I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not in the middle of four people about to just try and attack all of them. <laughs> <rats. Yeah. laughs> sure, sure. I was trying to shit, and I'd be Hercules here. <laughs> 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 He's surprised the bear is uh, just trying to run away. <laughs> leave us to deal with yeah, it. Yeah, we have, to clean, to, shit, we have to clean no, up his shit. We have to clean up his shit. There's no fire. Um All right. Um I think I will I will cast a and I would like to I would like to uh, uh, oh, what do I do? I cast another another flash, a flash bang as I can. As uh -huh. I did similarly before. I want I want to try and So that'll be your pyrotechnics ability. Yeah, so the thing with pyrotechnics is that does require a fire. Oh, it does. Yeah, cuz if I if I'm ca if you allow me to cast pyrotechnics uh, without the fire. I'll allow you to cast it. Okay, I would fire. like to cast the smoke screen then. Absolutely. Okay, we well, there's a 20 foot smoke 20, 20 foot radius foot smoke screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Brent's amazing. Like, Actually, I take it back. You can't do that anyways. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'll allow it, you know? It's, okay, I want to cast inventive. that and I want to run towards towards true. Interesting. Okay, sure. So you you cast this spell any any dazzle here, or are you just it's, trying to I, get the hell I'm, out? I'm really, the there's smoke a comes hole out of his in my chest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. You're just trying to get out of there. <laughs> okay. I'm I am not I am not a I'm not a feces mancer. I'm a pyromancer. <laughs> But yes, no, the, 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 I, I turn, I throw it on the ground, and boom, smoke ever smoke. envelops just about everybody here, I believe. Yep. And I'm running towards the last place I saw Trulip to try and guide him, give him sense of direction, and maybe get us out of the smoke. And you just run straight past him? No, I'm running to him. To him? Yes. Just around here. And be like, Trulip, we must, we must, come on, the smoke's mine, let's get this way. <sighs> okay, I see. Uh, all right, yeah, a, a smart move. No opportunities of attack because of that. 
So pretty good. Pretty good. It is Bear's turn. That does take a slot, right? Yes. Yeah. The one that I'm standing next to? Yeah. So what does smokescreen do? Do they have do we, in a smoke screen. Do we all have disadvantage inside or something? What's the Let's have a look. It, yeah. I area of it's a heavily as, heavily obscured area. So it, persp it persists for one minute or until a strong wind Essentially, all it. vision right. is obstructed here. Right, right. Um, Does that mean people can't attack or people are well, people can attack, all right? I mean, smoke doesn't stop claws. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you can swing. Can't well, I'm just saying this is the one time I'm going to admit to being small. Surely you can't see me in the middle yeah. of the... <laughs> <laughs> now, the good thing about bears as well is they have a very keen sense of smell. This is smoke. Uh huh. Smoke smells really heavy. True. That should cloud that. And he also bit. shit everywhere. <laughs> <So there's Yeah. laughs> shit everywhere. His nose is full. But, I mean, of they would man. be up. Uh, excuse me. Whoa. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You've been pounding down the Heinekens. Uh, pounding down the Heinekens, huh? <laughs> uh, I feel like, uh, uh, at least from my perspective, dogs have, have a very acute sense of smell. They can sense many different things, even in a smoky environment. True. A bear should be able to do the same. Uh, if you overwhelm the sense of smell, though. I mean, are you? I don't know. It's, it's entirely surrounded by feces and smoke right now. <laughs> do not, do not <laughs> argue with the, the, the DM. <laughs> oh, well, he... Well, you'll... Okay. The dice have decided. Yep, they have. Yeah, the bear is going to take a swing out into the abyss and uh, ends up falling flat on his ass. <laughs> None of you notice, of course. All you know is you hear a... And then a... Boom. <laughs> just a smack on the floor somewhere around you as, uh, as he just loses balance and falls backwards. Now, again, remember, the vision is heavily obstructed for all of you right now. Um, but it is now going to be the ape's turn. All right, so the three of them are now going to just try and swing their way through everything. One of them is going to accidentally swing at the bear <laughs> on the floor. Uh, With his sword? Yep, and he is going to hit and deal some dam-dams. Jeez. Why? 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 <laughs> why? How much damage? Is it dead? Six damage. Oh, man. Is the bed on, top of, on top of the one 19? of the apes swinging wildly is going to hit that. The other two are also going to try and search around now. One of them doesn't find anything, and the other one also doesn't find anything. The other two are also aimlessly walking through the smoke, just hunting for a target to try and hit at. Um, which is these two fellows here. Ah, it is now your turn, Bob. I am going to again. <laughs> And I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace again mm. on, on our party members. Is that okay. a line of sight spell? I, Not I, really. I just, for okay. the sake of you walking into a bear shitting, I just kind of said it was. Because, <laughs> okay. uh, sure. I mean, if, at that point, you have feet. to be you within a certain be, okay. reasonable okay. distance. Okay. The, uh, okay, you're going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Does it also affect the apes? Are they invisible now to each Is other? Is it just the allies you choose, Joe? Uh, yes, it only affects allies anyway. Okay. Because yeah. that'd be really funny if they were also invisible. Okay, so you all now are under the effects of... Each creature I choose within 30 feet, <laughs> actually. But yeah, I only choose my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose you, you, and the bear. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> also the sheep, so I guess. So all of you are going to have to uh, do a sneak roll if you want to try and disengage from this fight. I don't know if some of you want to decide to do that. Yes, I'm, I'm going to try... It's your turn first, so you right. make the first roll here. I'm going to try and disengage, and I'm attempting to stealthily move around behind the outhouse and towards actually outside of the smokescreen up the ramp. I'm going mm. towards the ramp to actually get inside this place okay. while all the kerfuffles going on. Yeah. Oh my oh my word. No. <laughs> oh my word. How Wait a going? second. That ain't going well. You got uh, plus ten to your checks. Yeah, uh, I including the plus ten, that's a thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> what was your what's your sneak skill modifier? Uh my my stealth is zero. <laughs> and I rolled a three. Jeez. Okay. Wasn't great. 13. Uh, <laughs> the sphere had It is now your turn, Atlas. You are in the smoke. You would, how, not, how you would not really be aware that you're under the effects of Pass Without a Trace. Um, really? He, we, we don't know that he's, he's past this? I mean, it's, it's a... It's Especially a, after see the sphere try and run. <laughs> Did the sphere try and run? The sphere's on the edge of the smoke. 
I the one who tried to run, to run was... Uh, I ran. Yeah. No, where did you go? No, I just tried to sneak around the side. Yeah, yes. I saw him try yeah. and... So yeah, I saw him try and... You would have passed him on Was that successful? Yes, it was, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, how how high is the middle thing? Uh, the, the middle thing? The big... Uh, the, oh, the big one? The big one. It was it, 20 feet. It said. is 20 feet, yeah, from the base. And is there a window up there? There are windows. All right. I am going to... Tell me if I don't make this, but I'm going to use um, Step of the Wind, which allows me to dash. Because I have stealth and disengage because of the smoke, uh -huh. I'm going to use Dash of the Wind, which, allows, which doubles my jump distance and also allows me to dash. <laughs> I am going to beeline for that base and then I'm going to launch myself and run up the side of the base and then get to the window and get in the window. Hold oh, the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Yo, hold on. You're Done. You're trying to go. Yes. From here, yes. run. No. Straight through everyone else and through the smoke. Through these people. <laughs> yes. The pair on the floor. Yes. And the people in the smoke if I could draw, wildly swing their swords. Like if this. I could show you how awesome it would be if I had a, like a cinematic of it, I would I, be I like, want, I so here's no, okay. You get to the base, <laughs> and you're going to do what? I'm going to jump, use my double jump, and then climb the rest of it into the window. All right, motherfucker. You better roll well for this, because you were... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, let me, first can all, I describe my action? First of all, roll a sneak check to ensure that you avoid these <laughs> these apes swinging swords. Oh my god, so well, he bopped that. Okay, <laughs> wait, 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 I want to I wanna tell you how fucking stealthy I am uh -huh. right now. I just rolled a 34 stealth. <laughs> 34 <laughs> stealth! I am invisible in this game right now. So you <laughs> definitely wait, work you your way ten? in and out, weaving through I, bodies I, like I, an expert I'm going ballet through, dancer. I see. Because I am a monk and I am I am like stealth like with, I don't know exactly I am a light foot halfling I see the situation clearly yes. I see the the animals just wildly you shut off your stuff. senses yeah my senses and you sense kind of, their life energy exactly and I can feel the energy of what's going on they're wildly wasting the thing I f dodge under the first one I slide <laughs> under it and then I, I I take a run and then the bear is like unconscious on the ground passed out rolling around I jump over him real quick and then I beeline for the base and then you see me all in one thing the first like one two off the wall and then I just launch and I go like 20 feet in the air wait a second and I that was just a sneak check now you gotta reach a couple give me, more give me, now I got fucking so, decks. okay I'll give you I'll throw your bone here what's your highest out of athletics or acrobatics my acrobatics is plus six and my athletics is negative one. Okay. We'll go with, <laughs> I think we should go. I, that's we'll go with, very acrobatic. We'll go with the acrobatics for this one. Okay. Now, you need to describe. You have to make two successful acrobatics rolls. And I'm not going to tell you the difficulty check. The first one, not too bad. The second one, pretty difficult. Okay. So make the first one now. <laughs> 15. Okay. That is a successful launch. So you managed to just vault yourself up. <laughs> Remember, I have a spell that gives me double dash and double jump. Yes, yep. Fully aware of that. Yeah, okay. taking that into account of the fact that you've managed to actually somehow <laughs> hurdle 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to make the other 10 feet. So let's see it, fucking Batman. <laughs> Roll the dice. What? I rolled a 21. <laughs> All right, yeah. You, you, you. Not only do you Jason Bourne it by dodging everybody, sneaking past, dodging, weaving, zipping, and zooping all through the monkeys. The smoke screens causing issues. You come out of the smoke like a bat out of hell. Launch your way up. You get a nice little, nice little handheld little foothold on the actual tree itself. You grasp onto what you feel like is probably a root, and you yeet your way up. Yes. Doing a flip in the process. And, and I also, in to... the middle of the air, I flip off Bob. Yeah. Because <laughs> he flip sees me. He sees me from behind the outhouse like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then I grab the window. And now <laughs> you grasp onto the window. Yeah. Now, roll an athletics check to try and pull yourself up. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh. This was not part of the Here deal. Here we go. What have you got? He crit fails! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I have, there is a thing that I have. There is a- Do you fuck? No, okay, there is a, there is features and traits. Yeah, features and traits, quick. 
<laughs> Please hold. This is something. Um, there's a uh, there's a one where. Uh, oh yeah, when you roll a one, oh it's on an. Oh uh, wait, when you roll a yeah. one on the d20 for an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, yep. you can re-roll the die and must use the new roll. That's such a dumb trait, but yes, go ahead. Holy it's a lucky trait. Holy yeah. Jason Bourne lives through all odds. <laughs> Does he? Another one. Thirteen oh. minus one twelve. That's acceptable. You just about managed. I mean, it took a lot of energy. I'm not gonna lie. But you know, just when you thought you were losing grip, and it could have been dangerous, you're about to fall to potentially your death. I just want to throw that out there. That's fine. I don't, it's don't 20 fear. Foot. I don't fear death. <laughs> I fear bears and gorillas with swords. Your life, your life <laughs> rushes the before you. The <laughs> and you just managed to yoik your way up into the hoyoik oh your way word. up into the area. Now we're gonna go. Now for Caleb's turn, it That's is your goal. That's the stupidest thing I've ever witnessed in a D&D &D game. <laughs> All right. You've just well, witnessed. So you are standing at the edge of the smoke screen. Yes. Let me just I am... go through what you've witnessed. You saw the sphere roll his way <laughs> nimbly to the ramp entrance. You've just seen the halfling not only triple somersault his way through various individuals, but then just throw him himself up into the 20 feet into the air. <laughs> 20 feet! You've just witnessed all of this. What are you going to do? Uh, these are all trees, yes? Every single one of them is an individual yes. tree? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have an ability called Spider Climb. You oh. do. That would have made that whole thing so much simpler for you. <laughs> I don't and need I'm it to be simple. I'm standing next to the tallest tree. And I've seen these two people stupendously advance, and I have a gaping wound in my chest. But I also am wondering... Where the sheep is? <laughs> and, and why are we here? <laughs> that question. <laughs> it crossed my mind the first time. <laughs> because I no longer have to shit because I've done that. So, <laughs> so I turn. And while this, the smoke screen is... How long has passed since I've cast the smoke? How long would oh. I... Would, Barely any time at all. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So the smoke's going to be up for a little bit, and the peep, the creatures have no idea where they are. Yeah. I am stealthed. Assumedly, the sheep is stealthed as well. And I'm, 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 I'm sitting for just a moment thinking, okay, they're in the building. Do they know what they need? Do, do, what, do, can, can I somehow get the information out of the sheep? I don't know, I don't know what, to, what question to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I need it, but then I have to somehow I mean, deliver that information. Yes or no answer. But, but you've cast Spider Climb. I have not cast it yet. You haven't yet. I was, okay. I was just mentioning that because I thought it was just so. I was just sitting here reading about that while you were rolling 14 times to make that happen. <laughs> yeah, you could have just, yeah. That I mean, was that was an out of character conversation. Spider Climb, you could have just walked up. I'd, all I have to do is touch you, then you no. just, just, just walk oh, up the wall. That would have been useful to know before I yeeted myself up the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no half measures, you know. Oh, oh that was so Ooh. good. Um. I, I think that the thing that Anitis would do in this moment is he would turn around and look for the sheep. I, can I roll a perception for the sheep mm. who has hidden himself, you said? Sure, yeah. I mean, you know the sheep is just hiding, just peeking behind an oak tree. Okay, so I, don't, I know where he's hiding. Which oak tree? Do you want a dice uh, for the sheep? It's just over here. Oh. Okay. There's like a, there's a bunch of like trees and just... Basically, the main clearing, which allows for this giant place, there's plentiful amounts of oak trees and lots of okay. cover to, to hide behind. Okay. He's watching onwards, wondering again, has he put his trust in three morons? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two morons and a badass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are completely <laughs> stealthed. I, I walk. I, 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 I nimbly walk as quietly as I can, uh -huh. but, a, br a brisk walk, <laughs> to the sheep. And I'm like, I, I crouch down on the sheep. Are we looking for a... For a book, I'm asking. Can I have a conversation roll, in the middle? Roll a sneak check. Okay. With so plus D20? ten. D twenty. Yes, D twenty. Yeah, you get a plus ten. Eleven. Oh. That's twenty one. You you pass it okay. easily. Yeah. Uh, just to double check if you could disengage from this fight while the monkeys and bears are flailing around. <laughs> the, uh, there's, so you, there's no monster mosh pit happening. Can we? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Can we update Batman's location? <laughs> oh sure. Yeah. Because. <laughs> So this is this is what he did. He went. Straight up, and it's hanging here. And I pulled myself up. And you pulled yourself the up. Other, you the other inside. ape is you've knocked an ape prone. Well, he went prone. <laughs> <laughs> he went prone. Nah, he couldn't. He couldn't handle it. 
He didn't even know what was going on. He just knew he was being made a fool. <laughs> yeah. Sheep, sheep, are we looking for a book? Ma, ma. Are we looking? I'm looking for a spell. Ma. A spell. Ma. Like, 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 like a parchment. Ma. They're like rolled up. Ma, ma, ma. Is, it, is it in a bottle? Ma, ma, ma. Okay, is, is it, is it, is it in, a, in a bag? Ma, a ma. Box? Ma. Shut the fuck up. There's tapes over there. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Am I looking for a dragon's egg? Ba, ba, ba. Oh, what am I looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for a spell. Ba, ba. Oh. Is it is it written down? Ba. Is it is it a person? Ba. <laughs> am I looking for an animal? Ba. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> am I looking for am I looking for a dead animal? Looking for ba, a part a part a body part. Ba. Oh. Am I what am I looking for? Am I, am I looking for? Am I looking for Nook? Mm. He he runs around and, and picks up a stick of his mouth and <laughs> no, like a stick, a, a wand, <laughs> a wand, <laughs> a wand, a wand, a wand, <laughs> wand a staff. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> wand, wand, <laughs> so like, like 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 a foot long, like six inches, eight, <laughs> eight. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like black, <laughs> brown, <laughs> okay. Any any ornaments? A sapphire. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Detailed interrogation of a sheep. <laughs> That's how we got to respond. Does it have any colors other than brown? Ah. How did you shrug as a sheep? How do you know what's going on? He doesn't know. Okay, all right. Um, uh. Is there anything else I should be worried about inside? Bah. No, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 is it still my turn? Do I still get to keep going? Bah. Okay. Yeah. At this point, I cast Spider Climb. Uh huh. And I, I nimbly walk back and I climb up into the third the third tower. Oh, into the third tower? Yes. Does he have that much movement? So, yes. Yeah, you, you do have that much movement. So at this point, I'm going to say combat is disengaged. The apes are wandering around aimlessly in the smoke screen trying to find their way out. The smoke screen will have worn off by the time we come back down, I bet. Yeah. So, uh, and in fact, is the smoke screen a channeled ability? No, I said it just lasts for a minute lasts or until a, a wind disperses it. Mine is, though. Mine yeah, is still a concentration. So, yeah. so, yeah. I mean... The, the amount of time, we'll ignore the fact that that interrogation probably would have taken more than a minute. Oh, uh, that was, that was pretty fast. You're very rapid interrogator, yeah. yes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there's no windows or entrances on the biggest, tallest oh. tree tower, but there is uh, a sort of bridge that connects the, the biggest, largest tree in terms of the width to <clears throat> this one itself, which you could find your way uh, and grab onto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, or, I, or just I, walk onto. I, at this point, I, I can move freely on yes, surfaces. Yes, yeah, you can. So, you can just walk onto. So it. I'm, I'm climbing up. Um, I, I move around. I, I move to the, the, the bridge area. There's a window in this bridge area. Yes, like I just I, a door. I just a, a door to the outside to fall to my death. A suicide door. Mm -hmm. just, uh, you, uh, no, just oh, there's a, a door there. Oh, okay. so, 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 on the so bridge think now. of this. As I thought like, you were saying on the bridge there was no, no, a door I could like. Think walk of it like the, the Ewok tree people, right? They yes, build these yes. bridges high in the trees. Okay, this is kind of what it is. It's, I got uh, onto the bridge for free. You, you All got right. onto the bridge for free. Yes. I turned around. I've scanned my my teammates. I, I noticed one of them had moved. Well, one of them's the on the ramp. Okay, yeah, somehow okay. you, you took four times as many movements as 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 Bob did. How? But it just happened. I'm on. I'm at the door. Can I can I enter the door? Uh, you try the or door and you find that it doesn't quite open. Okay. I try and make eye contact with. Um, you were inside your building, yes? No, I'm in the window. So we'll do it one part at a time here. Okay, so we're not going to play because, this together. Okay, yeah. Because you're all kind of separate. That sounds good. Yeah, you're sounds in one good. tree, yeah. you're in the other, and you're outside the third. Yeah. And the time it took you to take that action, <laughs> more actions could have been happening uh, over here, not necessarily yours. We'll go for you first, Bob. Uh, what would you like to do now that you're kind of pseudo out of combat? Remember the the apes yeah. are still screaming and I'm 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 sneaking in I'm sneaking up the ramp. <laughs> I'm, talking just, to yourself. I'm talking to myself in soft voice. Is what I do when I'm when I'm anxious. You know, mm. sneaking up the ramp. Bob sneaking up the ramp. Mm. And I I look inside the first tree. Yeah. So as you go into the first tree, you notice it's kind of like hollow in, inside. Mm. There's a couple of more smaller trees of flower beds. Um, sort of decorated around, and you notice another little walkway entrance that makes its way into the big tree itself. But there's a door blocking the way, um, as in. Uh, so, so let me point it right. out for you on the map. Uh, so the, the the big door is right here. Um, that's that's blocking the way. You work your way in here. Nice little uh, sort of just area, just mm -hmm. one little walkway. Uh, can I see any? Um, does this look like the tree has been lived in? Is this somebody's house, their this home? Area? Is it a yes, work actually. area? There's a couple of hammocks 
um, tied up around. This seems to be the area where some people are staying. Presumably the, the apes is where their, their living quarters are. Um, just in this section right here. Right, okay. But it doesn't look like an area where somebody's working or where transmutations would no, be happening no, or no. anything like that. No. Okay, I'm going to try the door then and, and exit this tree onto the next pathway. Okay, as you try and uh, open the door, you notice it's a bit locked. Mm. Um, but as you're trying this door, you, you can't help but notice to your left uh, a halfling just yoinked his way into the window <laughs> next to you. Um. So, yes. The door itself, though, is locked. Okay. I'm not going to call out to the halfling at all. Can I see him through a window? There's a window in mine just, towards another just window. just dragged himself into the window. Oh, he's in the same... I'm no, no, but how am I seeing him is what I'm asking. Am I seeing him I through a window? Here. Oh, I see. Sorry. You I thought I was... Left? I thought I was. I thought I was hitting a locked door inside the tree to no, get no, no, onto no, no, the bridge. No, 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 You're on the bridge. Oh, I see. Sorry. I see. I see. Atlas. Atlas. I'm like... Let me in. I like, I like nod, and then I like yeet myself inside. Uh huh. Okay. You gonna try and let him in? And try for the door. I want to see what's in the room first. I'm like, okay. I'm like crouched in the corner, like trying to like get my bearings. So as you, uh... buddy, hell, where is this? <clears throat> so as you look around, you notice that there's just a very you know ornate rug. Um, immediately where you've landed out of the window. You've uh, you've made your way over um, a small little bookshelf lined with you know various uh, scrolls and whatnot. Uh, and all around the room, actually, as you look around, you see bookshelves lining everything, um, covered with stacks of ink-splattered notes and complicated uh, anatomical diagrams of various beasts and monsters. Very much looks like uh, a place where... It's weird. It's like a mix of almost research, but also a place that could honestly pass off as a sort of living area, a place of relaxation almost. But it's definitely a room that you can see casual research was maybe conducted here. Maybe this is where the, the person who's living here retires for the night and goes on to... to so it's like a study. To, almost like a study, yes, yes. Um, uh, and you, you also see the, the huge door that... Uh, that Bob is kind of getting, trying to get through uh, is barred on the other side. There's a big bar just blocking the way. And there's nobody inside? Nobody inside, no. Uh, I sneak around the outside, like around the bookcases to the mm -hmm. door, and I lift out the bar and open okay. the door. Yeah, you two are now together again. The door is going to swing open. Oh, bloody hell. Where, where, where is that absolute fucking moron who went for a shit next to a bear? I'm hoping he's dead, but... You know, we'll, we'll find him out later. Oh, where in the hell is the sheep? I think he, I think, I think he was with the idiot. I saw, I saw when I made it to the window. I looked out across and I saw him yelling at the sheep. Well, I hope to God he, he figured out what the fuck we're here for, because I don't know what the hell we're doing. I haven't seen him since. Well, but presumably there's a powerful wizard in here somewhere as well. I only saw one of the tree. Yeah, I, I don't know what we're. Do you looking think at. he's invisible? I fucking. Scan the room and do a. I don't even know what check I would do for this. Like a perception check. Perception check. Oh, yeah, you can. You can definitely attempt it. Three. Uh, I, I have four. Yeah, your hearing just disappears. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, but you don't notice just anything. In your ear. Right, yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe he turned into a fly, yeah. and he's just on the wall. Okay, Bob. This is not the time for fucking your conspiracy theories. It's probably <laughs> fine. There's nobody in here. Did you bring the wine skin? No, okay, we don't need the wine right now, Bob. I need a drink to calm your nerves, honestly. Okay, well, I, fortunately, I think it was with the other guy. What's your name again? Anitus. Anitus. Yeah, no, I, I was asking <laughs> it outside the game. I, I, I think it's with Anitus. <laughs> well, fuck, we better find Anitus. <laughs> Pull me onto the bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you just saw me talking to the sheep. Hmm. So the uh, uh, enough time has passed such that it is your your turn okay, now. And I'm, 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 I'm at the door. I tried the, the door. door. You try the door is locked. locked. Yeah, locked. Um, I've seen the people enter on the other side. The door doesn't seem openable. I turn back around to go back through the other door. Is there a door mm. on this other side? Yes, there is another door. Okay, uh, it opens with ease. Opens with ease. As oh. you find your way into a completely, uh, you're talking about the big, the big centerpiece. Yes, I'm right? here with them now. Yeah, yes. as you work your way in, as you look around, you you see um, various tables containing all sorts of flask and mixtures, uh, and also 
uh, again diagrams with spells and incantations as a man of you know of, of of arcana you you sort of recognize some of this some of the work definitely a lot being focused on transformation uh polymorphing that sort of thing that seems to be where the work is being honed into but it's just a sort of work area uh, and nobody seems to be here but there is another door or two doors i should say one uh, leading uh, in the northern direction and one to, uh, opposite the door you just opened essentially so let me draw it out for you <clears throat> Mm. So you okay. guys would see this here. No, oh, okay. And it's like got a rug on the ground, and various bookshelves all around, a fireplace, um, a chair. Um, but you walk in here and you just see work tables everywhere. Uh, and another door, another door. So that's sort of the lay of the land here. Hmm. Um. I do a perception check for the wand. For I'm the looking wand. around, looking for anything that looks like a wand. Uh, do you have the spell identify? I think actually, I, do, I don't actually. think that will tell you much, to be honest. Actually, I do have it, but it's. I, I choose an, one object that you must touch throughout the casting of the spell. Yeah, it's it. That's not useful for you okay. right here. It would be detect magic, but I don't think you have it. I don't. No. Um. Per per yeah, perception wouldn't really help you. I mean, it would help okay. you try and look for an object that looked like it. But uh, would I be I, aware that I can't that I, like like oh, I can't? Yes, your anything. character would know that like magical objects. You would need to attune for detect magic to be able to sense magical objects. Okay. You know what to look for. You know it looks like a, a you know yeah. a piece of wood. He described stick. it very very fully. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, just scanning the room, you can't seem to see. Okay, it, yeah. I, I don't I don't see anything. I'm uh, I'm I'm scared at this point. Again, I'm bleeding. So I walk through. I walk up to the door that mm -hmm. seems like it would lead me towards my teammates, towards mm -hmm. the last place I saw them, and try to open it. Okay, yeah, it opens up freely. And okay. as you two are discussing, you know, whether or not there's flies on the wall or whatnot, <laughs> the door swings <laughs> guys, open. Guys, guys, we're looking for a wand about six to eight inches you, no, long. No, made no, no, I don't want to hear it from you. No, I'm yeah, just no, telling you the sheep told me all that. I do not want to hear from you right now. Okay, <laughs> are you fucking stupid? Look, all of us. I'm the one who got hurt. I can right. answer that one for right. you. <laughs> Yes, okay, I'm sorry, I needed a shit, I just needed to get it out of my system, it's out of my system, now we can find this fucking wand, okay, I'm just telling so you. So we're looking for a wand. I'm looking for a wand, he just said, he said it was, a, it was it was brown, and he said there might be things to be worried about in here, that was so what I got out of him. We're, we're looking for a brown stick. Yeah, brown stick. You're looking for a brown stick. That looks a, spe a special, a special brown tree. stick. In a brown tree. In yes. a brown tree. Yes, yes we, but this one are three special. brown trees, and we're looking for a fucking twig. Yep. But but that, well, very, the, very straight That really one. narrows it down. Uh, did you bring the Did you bring the drink? Um, I, I have a flask. It's a small flask that somehow is not shaken off. <laughs> and in, in, in all the kerfuffle, here you go. I don't know what's in it. I haven't opened it in about four months. I, That's I'm gonna my backup. I'm going to sit down on the chair uh -huh. and, and take a load off. Oh, my God, I am not ready for walks like these every day. As you're doing it, a long spindly fellow comes waltzing into the room and says... Return me the sheep, and I will not destroy you all. Oh, for fuck's sake, who no, are you? Why do you think we... Do we look like people who just travel with sheep? Who the fuck are you? So you've come to sit down here on the chair. The rest of you are just kind of working your way here, right? Okay. And do I immediately recognize that this person is a wizard? You sense a, an air, yeah. I mean, the, the the robes really give it away. The robes give it away. The all the all the stuff I've away. seen walking through, I know what's going. On. Yeah. I don't think there's much use lying to this person, Atlas. I'm just gonna take a wild gander that he has a fucking clue what's going on. Um, Mr. Nook, I presume. That is me. Okay. Now, would um, you mind telling me what you're doing in my home? Yes, um, there's a sheep. There is a sheep. Yes. I know of this sheep very fondly, very well. If if you... uh Oh, also, we are all still invisible. No, no. no I, oh, you, so you stopped that? Okay. I was chilling out. I, I mean, also, okay, at this point, okay, okay, it's okay. like... It, it, it helps with sneak checks. Mm -hmm. So you're not invisible, per se. You're just stealthy. You don't leave footprints. You're silent on your feet. It doesn't make you invisible. You're okay. still very visible okay. in terms of everything else. You have to be actively, consciously working on it. Here's my thing. 
your your lovely henchman, who is, I promise, just enjoying a beer at in the hotel <laughs> back where we first met him. Gary? He, is Gary fine? He's fine. He's great. He should, he should be back to you Why is he not returned to me? I, he, he, fa- he ran into some... He ran into some... some Gary, hooker. Gary ran but off with Barry. He, yeah. He, he said he was going to take some vacation days. I think it was their honeymoon. Um, that's as much I, as we know. He nine. said you're a little offish sometimes. I don't know. This is a thing for you guys to resolve internally. I shouldn't get involved. But... <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 he said that he said that the sheep had done terrible things. Oh, more than terrible things. This man, if you knew the things he had done, tell me. I we, will happily give you the sheep if you prove to me that he's a horrible person. We came here to return the sheep to you. Actually, we oh, told you did. Oh, Gary told us before he went on holidays that you were going to give us a handsome reward if we brought the sheep back. That's why we came through. But Unfortunately, then, your bears attacked us. I don't. I don't. I don't remember the shirt. Sure, yes. Roll a deception check, all of you. All of us. Mm-hmm. Oh, is there a skill? Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay, I did most of the talking, and I did an eighteen. <laughs> well, I did a five. I did a lot of talking too. I did an eight. Okay, well, you guys are fucking. Well, it, it wasn't a particularly hard role. He was quite convinced at your mannerisms, but now nah, there's something overly suspicious, namely the fact that Gary and Barry were keeping their relationship a secret, and the fact that you are now. Declaring that they're both in a relationship is quite odd. They've never really shown is this, is this dialogue? any affection. Yes. No, this is just okay. sort of in his internal his monologue internal right monologue. now. Okay. Um, but this is the reasons why he would be quite deceptive of you, or quite deceptive, quite suspicious of you all uh, in this moment. He begins to look at you all with narrow eyes. And where is the sheep now? He's in a safe place. It, 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 he could be very unsafe. You just just tell me what he did. I just want to just know. I don't know anything about. I know what I, the stories have told. The songs from down south in Gloucestershire. Okay, I want to know. I will eat tell, that sheep. Tell me the truth about this. He man. does look tasty. He yeah, looks bloody well, lovely. I, I wouldn't advise eating sheep. Lamb nope. are much more succulent. I, uh, oh, I, you would know. I mean, sure. jeez. But he, he's a, uh, a horrible man. man the man, gypsy worms, who I really do hate quite deeply at this point. I was his apprentice, you know. At one point, I was learning under him. Shine Bright was one of the most legendary wizards in all the land. I had hoped to learn under him, but of course, you know, elves, they live for a very long time. I'm sure that you are quite familiar. Your species uh, lives for quite some time. And, uh, well, let's just say a century or two of servitude, of cleaning and cooking without learning anything. Well, humans don't quite have that much time to put up, but the man just couldn't quite get it into his head. I wasn't here for that. I was here to learn, to try and succeed him, to try and become a great wizard. But he would have me cook and clean and fetch errands, and I would not learn anything. And as as time went on, I realized that this great and mighty wizard, this shine bright, who was in, you know, legendary amongst everyone of these parts, was no more than a fraud. All of his power came from this wand here. He actually has no power whatsoever. The man is a fraud. He has has made his name off the back of a single magical artifact that he has stumbled upon. I mean, does that sound like greatness to you? Is that someone that we should be following in in our stead? The man has lied to me. He tried to lock me into servitude for years and years. It was only right that I would transform him while he was sleeping and steal away one of the sources of his power. It's a, a, a strange line for morality you draw. I think it being being a bad teacher and a fake isn't quite the same as a uh, being a megalomaniac, t- tyrannical person who turns people into not people. I Man's mean, arrogance knows no bounds. Did the uh, <coughs> the the bears down there? Uh, did they did they want to uh, be bears? Well, it's only logical. You are stronger as a bear, more uh, uh, astute when it comes to. Uh, percepting enemies as they're coming to Who are and these from. people? Well, just guards I hired. Did they agree and sign on the dotted line that they wanted to be bears? Well, somewhere in the contract, yes. Well, that sounds like a loophole. I, the, 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 me- the old man, the teacher, is a fraud and a fake, and he, he made you do things, but he didn't hurt anybody. He only... Oh, he hurt many people, my career included. My youth is gone. I could have learned from the very best, and instead he squandered it because he could not see past his own mm. short-sightedness. I will hear no more of this. No more. Hand over the sheep, and I will not destroy you all. Okay, my... we'll do your tread. Okay? We'll give you the sheep if you give us the wand. Okay, that seems pretty even, right? It's a pretty magical sheep. I will not sheep. give you the wand. Wait, so where's your power come from? 
My power is my own. The wand supplements. Hey, you don't need the wand then. Oh, I need the wand. Okay, so you're a fraud as well. I don't believe him. I think it should be actually quite easy to wreck this noob. <laughs> I also think it this sounds noob. like it sounds like he learned everything the master had to teach him. I, I I think that frankly, if all of his power comes from that wand, we should just be able to wrestle him to the floor and punch his head in and nick his wand. I don't know. My wands are pretty crazy. I wands are pretty that, powerful. There, honestly. Um, as you're discussing this. He uh, he brings up the wand and says, oh, you, this, you wish to take it from me? Well, I'd like to see you try and flicks it at you, Bob, and transforms you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> into. Da, 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 da. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> it's going to transform Bob? you into a rat. How a big? rat? Is this like the world's fattest rat? Or is oh, this yes. just This rat, rat is... <laughs> You cannot move your limbs. <laughs> you, are, you are so obese that your limbs are just sticking out of your rat body. <laughs> uh, roll for initiative, including you, rat boy. <laughs> Ooh, you got something good initiative. I got a 17. 22. I got four, which suits my ratty <laughs> abilities. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rough. Uh, and you rolled uh, oh, 17. I, I was ready 17. to roll this kid. I have so many spells that are perfect for just holding him in place and going over and plucking the wand out of his hand. Oh, that is, that is really unfortunate. That it you really are, is. Uh, really is. You are now a... I should have done less talking and more spell casting. I, well, yeah. If I had an ability, I was going to jump at him, but I'm like, I don't have anything that will mm. catch the distance. All right, Atlas, you are up. You get the first action on this guy. Hmm. I feel I feel like old faithful should come to come to terms. Uh-uh. Flurry it up. I I use Step of the Wind that increases my dash action, but it also doubles my jump. And I make like a really long... Step of the Wind a bonus action? Yes, it's yeah, bonus yeah. action. I use that and I jump like do a long jump at the one at okay. the at his hand. And I try and grab it from him. Ah, oh, I see. I go for the wand. Uh, roll a dex, uh, dex check. Oh, wait, it's twenty, right? Mm-hmm. Shit. No. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh wait, no, eleven. Sorry. Eleven. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not a pass, unfortunately. Just as you leap and go for the wand itself, he drags it back, and then fires off a bolt at one of the chest of drawers that's in the corner of the room. And as you all turn around, you notice that the chest of drawers suddenly starts to morph and change and turn, and the sounds of bone crunching fills the room, as suddenly you feel the hot, earthy breath of the chest of drawers as it suddenly starts to come to life, and two of the drawers opens up and starts collapsing out into wings, and before your very eyes, before you know it, you're met face to face with a chest of drawers dragon. <laughs> As it's formed in the corner of the room. What? What is that? (laughs) It's a drawers dragon. Who could have seen this coming? All right. But I use my actual action. Mm -hmm. And after missing it and landing next to him, I I punch him. Hit him. Hit him as hard as I can. Roll to hit. All right. To hit him, right? Um, uh, Yeah, I hit. uh, 17 plus 20. Three, now you don't get to use your flurry of blows. No, no, it's just a hit. It's just a hit. Yeah, just a hit. Uh, yeah 23 haste. is the thing. So I just 23, yeah, once. just roll the damage. Uh, I do eight. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, quite a solid hit. So as you you go, you miss the, the initial hit. He zaps the corner of the room. I imagine some of you quite shocked a little bit, you know. You're just thinking, <laughs> damn. What is this guy doing? I see chest of draw dragons all the time. Okay, this is a very common <laughs> thing. What is this amateur before the dragon pops up? But just as he begins to chuckle to himself, you just clobber him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You know? Stop that. Uh, eight damage. <laughs> what the fuck can I do as a rat? <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Uh, and he is now his go again. And he is going to cast Expeditious Retreat on himself. Mm. 
which greatly increases his run speed when he's retreating away from various locations. And he's going to say, Skadabidabidoo, I'm out of here. See you later, idiots. And then he just runs his wee legs out of this door and he disappears around the corner. Do I get a moment of opportunity because I'm staying next to him? Nope, the spell doesn't allow it. Mm. Yeah. He called me an idiot. We, we gotta yeah. kill this guy. Well, well you have something short. else to deal with now. The uh, the dragon. <laughs> Chest of draws Chest dragon. Of dragon. Chest of dragons. Uh, Anitus, it is your go. Oh. Oh. Is, the, is the dragon made of wood? That seems co- very productive for us. He's made of chest of drawers. It is made of wood. Okay. Could be that you have a potential uh, pyromancer in the party <laughs> <laughs> that could also be, you know, quite good at this encounter. Could also be that that Hopefully. particular character was almost born for this encounter, <laughs> some might say. <laughs> oh, um, man. The, the dragon is incredible um and terrifying but hopefully not indestructible and hopefully very flammable as that chest looked very old and had not been moisturized Mm -hmm. in many a good moon the creaking gives it away i sense this in my mind and i equip burning hands Ah. and hurl all the might of fury with the hottest fire i can possibly muster at him okay Uh, is that uh, is that the one that's a cone it's um. <laughs> is that the one that's a cone thirty foot wide in my direction? No, in a, no. In an oak tree. <laughs> it's a, it's a fifth. You are a rat. You can get. You can. Are you carry casting? Away. Uh, you casting burning hands as a second level or first level? It's a first level. As a first level spell, you can mm. choose to cast it as a second level for more damage. I am. I only have one second level left. So ah, I feel I like see. Okay. Just going with the first, first level. level. Now, um, it says three. 6D, yeah. Or 3D yeah. 6D. So, Josh, as a rat, you now have to make a deck saving throw. What? The, okay. Uh, what? You you unleash this window pane of fire and brimstone and fury and send it flying, hurtling. So small. Towards the. Uh, towards aim for the, the head. What? Well, uh, hold on, I- hold on, hold on. Rats have a lower deck score than what you've already got. I mean, what sure. do you roll? I rolled a seven. Yeah, I am. I am. I am <laughs> Uh, you're going to be taking some damage from this. Oh so roll three God. d6s for your damage. Um, seven. Seven damage in total. So you take seven damage. Dragon. Uh. Oh, wow. The dragon is going to just definitely avoid... A lot of the fire that comes no. barreling towards him. He sensed the immediate danger. It wasn't enough to stop the fire from actually catching onto his body, but uh, as he lets out a roar, a bunch of paper clips and paper itself and ink goes splattering <laughs> all over the room uh, as he unleashes the contents of his stomach out onto all of you. Um, but he is going to take... Uh, what is that? Seven... Uh, four damage. I'll round it up. Just for you. Okay, it is now your go, Bob. You are now out of polymorph because you've taken damage. Ah! Uh, Actually, technically, it ended um, when he ran out of the room. As he ran out of the room because he was casting up a spell, which ended his concentration. Doesn't matter. Um, Okay. Shit, I didn't plan for my combat because I thought I was going to be a rat. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm going to. Hmm. Way to stay in character. I'm going to uh, I'm going to instinctively just as I come back to being human again I'm going to look down at myself in panic and just kind of lunge forward at the chest of dragons and try and inflict wounds upon it. So mm. this is a, a melee attack spell. Uh-huh. Oh shit, 11. Okay, that's not a hit. All right. Well, I, I swipe and I miss. Yeah. And I, and I just, just stumble kind of, of forward. Now it is the dragon's turn as he reaches the pinnacle of his flight. Oh, sorry, he sorry. Just with my bonus action, go. I'm going to do... Oh, no, I can't do that anyway. Don't worry about it. He, uh, the, the dragon then begins. He sees all of these objects coming to him. He sees, senses immediate danger coming, radiating from you here, mm-hmm. uh, Aniitis. An- Ani- Anitus. An- Anitus. 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 And uh, he I'll just does... be Glenn next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does not like it in the slightest. 
and uh, he is immediately going to see this entire room, and he's going to try and let out a splintering breath, essentially breathing out various chunks of wood all over the vicinity. Ooh. Everyone roll uh, a, a dexterity saving throw. Oh, my God. My rolls have just been garbage. Absolutely garbage. 18. 18. 7. 7. Uh, 10. 10? Mm-hmm. Okay. The halfling, Atlas, is going to just avoid the very worst of it as splinters and wood and metal shards start flying out at every single angle. Unfortunately, you two were not quite so safe. You both take 24 damage. 24 <laughs> damage? splinters of wood go absolutely everywhere, piercing every single point of your body. You're dead. I'm, I'm, I have 22 HP right now. That puts me negative two. Negative two health. You only take half damage, you take 12. What the f- <sighs> Now, at the end of the turn, the fire is starting to catch up a little bit more. He's going to take a 1d6 of damage, which is 2 damage on that. And you're dead on the floor. Mm-hmm. Atlas, it's your go. Are you still alive? Yes, I'm yeah. still alive. Okay. <laughs> How big's the chest of dragons? It takes up pretty much the entirety of the room. It expanded outwards and kind of absorbed different pieces of furniture along with it. All right. We. I decide. How Tension close is he? Oh, so he's really close to the door, right? Yeah. I... I grab Anitus mm-hmm. and drag him through the door. Okay. Yeah. I'll allow it. Into the other room. Yeah. And then I call out to uh, Bob. Bob, get out of there. <laughs> Bob, do something. <laughs> As I yell, Bob, uh, get out of there. Wonderful. And... Yeah, that's. I don't think I really have any uh, other actions. Okay. Uh, oh. You can choose to stabilize him. I'll take the movement action as just a movement action to move. Yeah. Him wait, can I stabilize him? Yeah. That's I'll give you an action to stabilize him. So what do I need to roll for that? Uh, I actually don't know. Let's say a d twenty just to save time. I'll decide based off the check. Uh, it's a six. Okay. Well, you don't stabilize him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Worth a shot. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I slap is, him and he d- he doesn't wake up. There's now splinters um, just everywhere. Yeah. Anitus, it is your go. You have to roll uh, a d20 and tell me the number. And this is your first check. So when you go down and out, you have. I also rolled a six. Okay, what's your con modifier? My con modifier is that in skills. It's yeah, yeah your constitution. Is it not the save one though? Yeah, it must be, yeah. It's death oh, save. It's a separate thing, I believe, yeah. Uh, it's it's, it's not like right. one of the major spells. Uh, oh. So it's like your dex and stuff like that. Uh, I can look it up. It'll be up at the top. Yeah, there you go. Constitution. Uh, I, can, three. I can look it up. Three. Three. three, three, three. You have a particular one for death saving throws, I believe. Oh, right. Yeah, it might be at the bottom. If oh, you score. Saving throws. Survival? Constitution is also three. 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 Okay, that is a failure. So mark so down I... one failure. Yeah. One failure. Uh... Okay, Bob, it is your go. You've, you're facing this bloody dragon head Wonderful. on. And if I... Oh, my God. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to... This dragon would not be able to fit through the door, presumably. Like, its body wouldn't be able to fit through the door. It might be able to rip through, but I would assume that if I yeah. snuck through this small area... I would be relatively safe. Sure. Or are we talking enormous doors? I mean, it's a huge dragon. Yeah, yeah, he's not making it. It has taken up a significant portion of the room. Now, remember, I mean, this was 60 foot in terms yeah. of its width. You're about halfway at the tail end of the back end of it. You're looking at probably as something that is around 10 foot right. in size. But I would be able to make it through the door if I disengaged? It's up to you. You try it. I'm not going to tell you whether well, I'm I, I can't judge the distance. That's sure. what I mean. I, I mean... He will get an opportunity of attack on you. Well, if I use my if action to disengage, then yeah. no. But I'll be able to make it to the door is what I'm asking. Yes. Like the distance is enough yeah, for yeah, me yeah. to be able to make it. 
Um, yeah, the better part of valor is discretion. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use use my uh, my disengage, and I'm just going to roll. I'm rolling. I'm I'm panicking. I'm just trying to get out of I it. I lunged. I missed him with my attack, and I'm like, oh, for the love of God! <laughs> and I actually, I'm just rolling, just rolling, rolling, and rolling okay. back towards the doorway. Yeah, you uh, you make your way out. Are you gonna slam the door shut behind you? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. slam so the door shut. So you don't have an action to well. resin? Huh? You don't have an action? To I don't have any actions now. Okay. Not anymore. So as as you slam the door shut, you hear a banging against the door as it bursts off the hinges, and one of the heads just reaches out through the door and starts screaming at all of you, trying to claw its way through. Uh, you'd probably estimate about 10 seconds of safety before this thing is just going to tear straight through the uh, the inner workings of the building. Oh, uh, can I use my bonus action as well? Yeah. It's a healing word. I'm going to cast it. Uh, it's one D4 plus four. So that's eight. I'm going to restore myself eight. Okay. Not going to do the dead dead guy. No, I mean I don't have an action to be able to stabilize him. This I mean, was you just can a bonus heal him action. over zero. Oh, I guess I could. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. What the fuck? I, I, I burned him for seven days. I'm, I'm worried totally about fair. myself here. I, yeah. Self-preservation above all. Okay. Uh, the dragon is gonna make an attempt to try and break down this door right now, and oh my word, he nails it. <laughs> <laughs> he busts straight through this. Um, but unfortunately for, fortunately for you guys, it took a lot of his strength to try and even break through. But the rage of being set alight, again, the, the, the one side of him still on fire, steadily burning over the rest of his body, uh, is going to cause him a bit of pain. But he has broken through into the building his, itself. The entirety of his body is through the... Yeah, it's through the wall now, but he's, ha he's sort of halfway through. He's also going to take another D6 of damage, which is four, just from the burning. He's now to... A reasonable amount of HP. So, like, his half of his body is through the... Oh, he's... Yeah, he's through. Like, half of his body is through, but he's, like, broken a big enough hole okay. to now move freely. Between. I... Is it my turn now, issue? It is, yes. I walk up to the door that we haven't opened up to, and I try and open it. Uh, which one? The door that we haven't been through. To the north. To, to the, the north? north? Okay. Um, is that the north or the east? Uh, inside here... You notice a very large dining table with a variety of chairs and some very ornate pictures around as you hear the banging and screaming of your colleagues behind you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. And then I go back. And then I... I... God. That was... Your your full movement. I mean, you're not going to be able to reach up. And you're not going to let me go point. back go back another way? I don't think so. It's it's a big building. Yeah, yeah, okay. I use um, fuck. I'm gonna use patient defense. Use one key point, and I now am in dodge stance for okay. the next, the next uh, attack. Cool. All right. Uh, Anitas, roll. 13. Yeah, there you go. That's so a success. 16. 16. That's a success. Yeah. Okay. So now yeah, yeah. you still yeah. One in a success, one still in failure. Okay. All uh, right, Bob. Uh, okay, so I'm going to cast a uh, cantrip, spare the dying. So I reach down towards uh, an Anitus, and I, I touch his forehead, and I, I mutter some words under my breath. Uh, Lord, uh, Lord Smiling God, <clears throat> please... Save this, save this poor folk. He had not eaten enough and drank enough to pass so early on. And I watch him sputter his way, but, <laughs> but he's still kind of unconscious on the floor. Still on zero HP. Yeah, he's but just you're now, stable. You're now stable. You're okay. now stable. You're, just, you're, you're not bleeding out. There's no chance that you're actually going to die yeah. at the moment. Not without more dragon interference. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, and I am going to... Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to just try and that was a cantrip right so that's a well that's an action it's still an action yeah uh, so I'm going to move towards no, no. no. I'm, I'm just going to stay where I am yeah, yeah that's, that's the end of it okay do I gain health from that you, you're up points? to zero okay yeah which is stable um, but 
just about unconscious. It can be brought to if you uh, if somebody heals you. Uh, right, it is Dragon's go. And he is going to swipe his little wee paw at you, Bob. You're the one standing closest. And okay, he's going to go and reach over at you. It was a 17, which is going to be a hit. Yep, that's a hit. Time for the damage. Okay. He hits you for 12 oh, piercing no. damage. Oh, no. How much you want? I was on 12. <laughs> oh. Unlucky. Unlucky. The fire begins to spread up the body of the dragon itself. He's going to start taking even more damage now with each turn. <laughs> I don't think you have any healing. <laughs> no, I have nothing. <laughs> I assume it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. It is your go. That dodge was useless. Um, I rush out the door onto the ramp and try and go for the third tower. Okay, you're gonna leave Leaving your us allies. behind. How do we're, I? Get, there's no way I kill it. I need to get the wand. We're both unconscious on the floor. It's true. It's Amazing. True. The wand might be the only way. I okay. go for the door. You go for the door. The door is locked. I use flurry of blows on the door. Use what? Flurry, flurry of blows. Of blows on I'm the trying door. to knock that Roll shit down. A d20 for me. Nine. Nine? <laughs> what, what's your strength modifier? Oh, fuck. I'm not very strong at all. Um, so it was nine plus... Uh, no, I think it's nine minus one. <laughs> as, you, uh, as you slam oh, down... No, my strength is plus one. I have ten. As you start laying down a flurry of blows on the door, it just doesn't really seem to budge that much when all of a sudden the doors just slowly creak open as you realize that... Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, the the Noke wizard has accidentally left the door unlocked. And he stood there. So when I tried to open the door and it was supposed to be locked. What do you mean? Well, I tried to open the door and you said it was locked. So I tried when? to kick it. Just now. Yeah, you, I you, did. Before he cast Fury of Blows, you definitely said the door was locked. Can I have my key point back? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, so I don't try and punch the door. Open it up. I open the door. You catch him with his trousers down. He stood there looking at you, trying to get changed in another robe. <laughs> and he panics. I... But what happened to the dragon? I yell, it's dead. I, it's, I can see it. It's behind you. <laughs> I scan the room for the wand. Mm. So you see the wand on the dresser to his side as he's in the middle of getting changed. I use... I don't know if this... I, oh wait, I, I do the same thing I did, but I use Step of the Wind and I use my double-length uh, double length jump right. to rush for the wand and jump. Roll a dex check. Oh, 11 plus... 15. That's enough. Okay, you're going to make a leap of faith onto the wand. You grasp hold of it. Noak lets out a shriek of... No! As he tumbles over his own robe and falls backwards into the floor, he's going to unleash a ray of frost all over the place, but it goes wild. Just scattering frozen icicles all over the bloody place. But you're now in possession of the wand itself. I turn back to the dragon. I assume, is he like unconscious or like he's just shrieking and he's writhing and... Is he dead? He's panicking, bro. He's, panic He's on the floor, yeah. He's panicking, and I turn, and I yell at the dragon, yep. and I yell, stop. The dragon <laughs> continues to walk towards you. That's all I had. <laughs> he steps over your and meets you on the bridge. <laughs> My turn? Do I get to go again, or is this his Does he get to a... Uh, we've got to do... Death saves and stuff. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, are we? Is that yeah. the end of my turn? Uh, roll, roll a death save for me, Bob. Uh, da, 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 da. it is fourteen. Yeah, that was a save. Success. Uh, you have one turn approximately until shit goes tits up. <laughs> so it's my turn. It is your turn. Yes. 
He just walked his way over the bodies of your your, your partying adventure and buddies and uh, has managed to break his way through once again. Another small exit, and now he's just kind of trying to trudge his way over this bridge that's kind of being made precariously. You can feel with each step, it rumbles the bridge more and more. You feel like these oak trees weren't quite made for this kind of weight bearing down on them, as he's also bringing down, spilling flame all over the central pillar of the tower as well, from where it's spread all up onto his body. I, I snapped the wand. You snap the wand in half. <laughs> yeah, that's the most powerful <laughs> tool you have access to. I assume it's the power of the the wand. If not, we're fucked. Roll an arcana check. Oh my lord. Three. <laughs> I will give you a hand here <laughs> and say, remember. No, never mind. Yeah, you idiot! <laughs> you, you bumbling fool! You, you snap the wand. Yes. <laughs> I snap the wand. What now, dear? <laughs> dragon is bearing down on I, you. I was hoping it was the source of the power. That it would all be undone. Everything would go back to being happy. Is the dragon still coming at me? I have another plan. <laughs> <laughs> that was your turn. Wait. I suppose that's not a whole action. Stuff. As you snap the wand into two, energy ripples out from within it. Now, if you had more of a grasp of the arcane arts, if you had somehow touched magic at least at one point in your life, you may have had some semblance of an idea of how to channel it, and maybe, just maybe, latch on to something to undo everything that's been done. But unfortunately, you only know how to punch. <laughs> and so as you break so they taught a with brute <laughs> force, this wand into two, it explodes violently in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and, for and forces everything within 10 feet backwards violently in every single direction. The dragon goes tumbling off of the bridge, you along with it. Flames splatter everywhere as now the central tree has caught completely on fire. Ahmed is knocked back and bangs his head on the chest of drawers in the house and is now unconscious behind you. Is that you. a dragon chest of drawers or just a normal chest? Just a normal chest of drawers. <laughs> just, just making sure. You are falling down onto the ground. You take... Go up. No. I use... What do you mean you use? I use <laughs> Soyful uh, as a reaction for my turn and uh, it reduces any falling damage I would take by 20. Woo! Okay. Wonderful. You uh, you managed to gracefully bounce from <laughs> edge of tree to edge of tree like Legolas skipping across <laughs> stones, breaking physics in your wake, <laughs> and you land perfectly on your feet. Like a at the bottom. Bus. You're met with the <laughs> the crashing of a giant. Chester draws mangled at pieces as the sentient dragon looks up at you and finally breathes its last breath as ink starts spilling out from underneath it. You look up at the tree and the central tree is now starting to just be alight with fire. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> Hold on. Where, where are the apes? Yeah, I, I also have... You turn to your right... <laughs> And you notice that, actually, it's been more than a minute now. The smoke screen is gone. And you look to your right, and the three apes and the bear are just looking up at the tree. They look left to you. They look at the dragon. And they just walk into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get paid enough for this. Okay. So. What would you like to do? <laughs> It's 20 feet up. Can I climb the tree? Is that something that I can do? Because you said it's like made of like wigs. I'm not trying to this time vault up with some super leap. Sure. This time it's roll, on fire. Though. Roll me uh, an acrobatics well, like check. the top's on fire. Yeah, it's the top side that's on fire. The travel generally, I mean fire acrobatics generally travels check. upwards. 
24. 24. Okay, you managed to find, you know, a couple of uh, little holds with the where you can work your hands in, and you managed to just very quickly, actually, and nimbly work your way up. Reminds me of the trees you used to climb as a young kid. Roll another check for me. Do I add anything to it? Yeah, your, your athletics. or Eight. Eight. This time, not so great. You realize that actually it was pretty exhausting climbing this tree up this far. And you're about ten foot up when you suddenly start to lose your grip a little bit here. Roll a strength saving tr uh, check for a while. Good thing a I'm strength super saving strong. roll. <laughs> Three. Yeah, you, uh, you lose your grip and you're going to go sliding down the tree. That's m I, I. Slow fall again. Yes. <laughs> no, well, okay. I, am I still in combat? It's a reaction. You, you're not quite in combat. I use slow fall so I don't die. Okay. Okay. How far am I? How how quickly is the tree burning? I want to do a perception check on how quickly the tree is burning and how much time I have. So it, it's it's kind of you know with the seasons and whatnot. It's an alive tree. Funnily enough you know trees that are alive actually don't burn that easily the conditions need to be pretty dry uh, and it's it's burning at a rate that seems actually quite manageable in fact if there was only a wizard nearby that had the ability to control flames he might even be able to extinguish it <laughs> but uh, you have no such wizard because that would just be ridiculous right <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's it's manageable I run up the tree instead of trying to climb this time and realizing that I'm mm. pretty weak. Good, I'm just, good idea. I'm just going to run around. <laughs> good idea. Yes. So I run around and I run up into uh, back into the room with yeah. it. You, you make your way into the room. You notice that there's objects scattered everywhere. Debris inside. The tree has been broken internally from where the dragon was breaking free. You see the bodies of your two companions unconscious on the floor as well. The shit beaten into them, to be frank. You've got splinters in every single orifice and uh, they are not in a good shape. Uh, as you peer over the bridge, you see that uh, the fire is starting to kind of spread inside the building itself. In fact, more of it's catching on fire inside the actual tree itself because a lot of it, quite dry wood, dead wood as you have it, with, which is you know what the furniture is made of and whatnot. Um, but just opposite in the final tower and tree and, uh, and pinnacle of what you've been reaching towards, you see an unconscious Ahmed sitting there. Is it a nook? Is it a nook? It's kind of... so. Let me show Who's Casey. Ahmed? Ahmed is... Sorry. Ahmed is his first name. Nook is his last oh, name. Okay, okay, cool. Ahmed Nook. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I call Ahmed, him Ahmed. We're kind of close like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is down and out. Is the, the ramp floor. still in tar, intact? You are here. Flames are starting to build up inside and across the bridge and starting to make their way across. I mean, here's the thing. You have to make a decision now. Who are you going to save? Because you try and save one... You might not be able to save the others. I rush up the ramp to the the wizard that's pissed off in the top third uh, in the third floor, the one that's like right uh -huh. here. The unconscious one on the floor right now, from where your shockwave of breaking the wand he's unconscious? rendered him unconscious. Oh well, he's fucking useless. I don't want to go there then. If I see that he's unconscious, then I don't want to go up there. Okay. Okay. I don't have. I stabilize Josh. I guess is my first. Sure. Uh, yeah. First roll, uh, my first ability. Stabilized, still unconscious though. Still unconscious, yeah. Just making sure he's okay. Okay, good, buddy. Yeah, sure, so great, so thank so you. Do I have like a medical kit in my? You can like? try and stabilize, but you can't really heal people. I yeah, mean, so but can they, I can't make them conscious, right? They're both stable at this point. No, I I tell you what I'll do for you. Roll a, a d twenty for me. Me? Or no, not you. <laughs> and Josh as well. Or these 17. Ones. 17. Three. Three. Okay, you are still unconscious. You're just okay. enjoying a lovely nap as blood is <laughs> pooling out of your body from the splinters. But, uh, uh, and it, and it, and it, and it, and it, and and it, and it, and it, you are uh, you awaken to the just a uh, hellfire around you. You can see uh, as you look up at the ceiling, flames starting to creep their way in. The oxygen starting to get more and more less as you're struggling for breath a little bit, but you splutter back to life. And you're now conscious again. Okay. Yeah. Um. Can I? I can. I have a cantrip that allows me to extinguish flames. Mm -hmm. 
Can I, can I just pick me up? Just carry me. I'm just going to just push as hard as I can. I, with my massive amount of strength, yes. lift him <laughs> up, like, up so he is standing. Excellent. It's within a five foot radius. And the flames are extinguished. Okay. The, the fires pits are out. Not all of them. There's yeah. still a lot. I mean, it's extinguished flames, I believe, is only within a five feet. Yeah, it's within the five feet. So can you just carry me. You get the, the, carry yeah, me you, you're going to have to carry him all around as he just begins to super Mario. I drag stuff, you know. with my enormous strength still. <laughs> Through each room into the next room. A lot of the fires that's occurring here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You, you successfully save a, quite a lot of the tree. There's a couple of scorch marks all up and down it, but the inside's absolutely wrecked. Um, but other than that, you have managed to salvage it. It looks like the tree is not really going to be breaking. The bridge looks a bit precarious, but uh, um, nothing that a, a druid can't fix. How did, did, <laughs> that was a, how did you beat the dragon? How did, how did you beat the dragon? Through sheer wit and skill. Oh, did, did you find Nook? Yeah, I found Nook. He was uh, he was up in the thing. He uh, got him with the trousers down. Uh, there might have been a mistake. Um, so when I got the wand and I, I broke it in half. God. So it, I assumed it would it would put out like all the spells that he, it had recently like put out. <coughs> Is it going to go all the way over time? I've never broken a wand. How are you alive? Well, I am, uh, you know, I'm a ninja. So <laughs> I'm like <laughs> super awesome. So I like, you should have seen me. Like you seen like Legolas. I was, I was saying, that's how I killed the dragon. I don't know who that is, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. Wow. Josh, you're, you're rendered conscious at the, at the smell of charred wood. <laughs> Bob, you're alive. Is that barbecue? <laughs> Looking good, Bob. <laughs> can you heal me? I, I'm I'm useless. I I got nothing. I can only punch things. You got? Can you heal him? I can't. I I, no. I just put out a little fire. You want me to heal all three of us? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, th there's also thing. there's also a fire, Bob. Um. So I don't want to talk about haste here, but uh, everything's kind of going down. So we should do this sooner and, rather uh, than later. We should be I, I feel. I feel like I'm a rare cooked piece of meat. The outsides of me are really hot, and the inside's still cold. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and cure my own wounds. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna cast cure wounds yeah, on but... myself. This is a, a D8 plus D8 plus four. Do you mind? Uh, <laughs> oh, good lord. <coughs> <laughs> what happened? So, we shouldn't point fingers because, you know, we're safe now. Um, but So, I went across the bridge. I and got turned into a rat. <laughs> yes. Um, you're not a rat anymore. That's fucking lovely. Yeah, good things happened. So, we went up the ramp. Well, I went up the ramp. You guys were dead. Um, I went up the ramp and I found Nook. Okay. I got the wand. Okay, so sweet. So, we had the wand. But I think it was broken. Um, I, I snapped it in half and it made this huge blast wave and that's oh, why that's like, everything's good. happened and that's how I killed the dragon. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, but everything is still alive and transformed into polymorph things. I don't know what it is. You'd have to ask the wizard. He broke the wand. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen now. Well, for God's sake, let me let me cure you. I'm also a staple pincushion right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna cure wounds on this guy as well, mm -hmm. which restores you a one d eight plus four if you want to roll it yourself. One d eight. Which one's the d eight? Uh, as, you, as you're all coming to your senses yes. and, and healing up, you you hear off in the distance the the clicking of hooves and a frantic ma ma ma. As you as you're met with the uh, the 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 fellow shine bright and sheep still have form. The one? The wand flew out of your hands. Yeah, yeah. That's fair, yeah. yeah it's it's gone. Uh, and the, the sheep looks at you and looks at the the building and looks at uh, Nook over there, and uh, bah. So he broke the wand. I okay. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Okay, so the wand theoretically, from my understanding, when you break the wand, all the spells should be undone. He, he said it was. Bah! He said it was the source of your power. Bah! 
Does that not make sense? Am I in the... Okay, Bob, help oh, me out. How much the... did you know about magic before this? I have. I am not very smart. He runs off and uh, runs into the main big room with all the bookshelves and whatnot and starts rummaging through a lot of the contents on the floor until he finds a scroll and comes running back with it in his mouth. Mm. What good, good, good. God is this? Should we break it in half? Just give me the scroll. <laughs> just give it to me. Don't break the scroll in half, uh, you just moron. Let me read this thing before I fucking kill this sheep. I take the scroll from him, uh -huh. if you'll give it to <laughs> yep. me. Open yep. it, read it. Is it is you it broke the wand! Uh, okay, it does that not seem like the wand of true polymorph, the wand that is irreversible unless you have said wand of true polymorph. Okay, so you guys can surely repair. It. I'm sure it's down there in the rubbish. I am stuck as a sheep. Well, we have a wizard here. He could he could potentially have do you it. to quote a great wizard. It's a simple spell, but quite irreversible. Can I, I eat this sheep now? I I, I feel like at this point we could eat him. I feel like I. I've made a grave mistake in trusting my lives to you three. You have done nothing but burn down my home. Oh, is this your home? This is your home. You've burnt down my oh, home. You, you could found us in a pub. You could work on the decoration. I, uh, to be fair, it didn't really look like we were going to be able to help Did you, you know that your home had a chest of dragons? Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Why have I hired you for this job? I, I, I'm going to grab the sheep. I'm stuck as a sheep <laughs> for the rest of my life. I'm gonna, Get away from me, you buffoon! Get I'm, away! I'm going to make an attempt to grab the sheep and, and wrestle ah! it under my arm. Ah! Bl bloody sheep's got a got spirit. Ah! Sheep's got well, a lot of spirit. Well, hold, hold on, hold on. Would you like to at least shit on Nuke's face? Because he's over there. Just There just is my apprentice. Down. Yeah, yep. he, he's up there. Up the, up the ramp. The apprentice has cursed me to two years of this and now an indefinite life. Of I, living and eating shit. I I put my mouth, my <laughs> hand over the <laughs> sheep's mouth. <laughs> I I'm sorry, I can't quite handle it anymore. Honestly, I don't know why you picked him up in the first place. Why it brought he, you closer is, to the is action. Is there like a counter scroll around here? There's gonna be something on the floor around here that can like reverse <laughs> the effects. I was just start picking up scrolls and start reading them. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I want let, 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 let the talk, thing let talk, talk for a second. I, is there any way that this can be undone? <laughs> Nothing! Uh, you, you don't understand. You've broken it! The only thing that could have undone me was the wand! Surely there's another wand. There's no more wands. What if I try and punch the wand back together? There is no more <laughs> wands. There's no punching of the wands. There's nothing. I don't even get revenge. I'm a sheep. You just revenge right up there. For the rest of my life. Nook, my apprentice, unconscious on the floor, made yeah. a mockery of my house, my name. Would you like a beer? Full I, circle. I don't think so. I think I... Uh, I'm, I'm going to put you back down on the floor now. I, I, will, I will find a way out of this. And he, he retreats over to where his apprentice is, is, uh, is hanging out. Starts rummaging through the floor and whatnot. And uh, puts on a robe on, over his body and <laughs> gets in it. And comes back out and says, well, There's no way forward. Other than moving forward, so I suppose I should get to work on trying to break this this curse. Where where did you find the wand in the first place? The wand was a family heirloom passed down. Ah. It's a one of a kind. I doubt you'll be able to find anything at all. You sure it's a one of a kind? It's a great magical artifact. Oh. Well, you Such kind of power was only found once every thousand I, years, uh, created by the mightiest of sorcerers and wizards. You, did, I, you this, just kind of fucked that one then. This might be a bad time to bring it up, but um, we were promised payments. Of payments? Gold. My house is in disarray. So we can have the house? Absolutely not. I will be working here indefinitely, eating grass, trying to break this curse of whatever research is left after all this mess. Look at half my research is on fire. The other half has been transformed into a bloody dragon. Yes, I saw that, by the way. Felling. Down onto the floor. Yeah, you know how him. much that chest of drawers was? Hundred gold pieces. You had a work what? I had to put in, transmuting this, that, and the other. What? What? Uh, did we break uh, any other valuable uh, furniture? Yeah, everything is, is broken. Is there anything that wasn't broken that we can perhaps? Uh, you. You know. No. Actually, I remember payment. going. 
I checked out the dining room before we went. We should You're go going in. to raid my house. Had a lovely table in I it. I feel like a sheep. I don't believe this. I feel like a sheep's not going to use it. A this sheep would definitely not use a dining table. Using it. What's That's he going to do? Put grass on the dining table? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's on the floor That's already. Ridiculous. We should we, go grab some. We should I go into the dining room. I'm going to. I mean, he's, he can't stop you. He's a sheep. <laughs> yeah. And I start rummaging through the silverware. Good and Lord. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really must apologize, but also, I think we should make the best of this situation. And I, I do think that this dining table won't benefit you at all. And it actually might <laughs> sell for a pretty penny. That is true. I start lifting the table up with Bob. And how do you propose getting it out? Uh, uh, I think there's a huge hole in the wall. Uh, <laughs> There's actually quite a few. <laughs> yes, but not where the dining room is. Uh, well, that's true. You did. You noped out of that room. Do, do the do the legs unscrew? <laughs> I, just, I don't think it's an idea. This table looks like it's being quite literally molded from the tree itself, as if it was the work of a druid that's used it. Actually, Ooh. I have some rope. I'll tie the rope on. We'll tie it on either side, and then we'll leverage it down, and then you can we can get it on the floor. We just gotta be careful of the on fire chest of drawers dragging down the floor. That I is. demand that you leave my home at once. Please, just take whatever you want. Just leave me in peace to conduct my research. You have been no help at all. I would strongly disagree with that. Actually, I feel like we've done a lot of help. Uh, you almost died. We, you could still be a. He could still be alive with the wand, and you would still be a sheep. He's really, still alive. My apprentice is going to oh. awaken, kill me. Oh shit! That is actually very, very apt. We didn't do anything. To we the could apprentice. sell him into slavery. Well, let's. We should. <laughs> no, <laughs> slavery is outlawed in Galadron. That's so is we may. So have is no Chest of Dragons, and you had one in your house. But I'm not going to snitch on you. I don't believe this. I think that is a little bit of a step too far, in my <laughs> he opinion. He tried to kill both of us. I, I'm not sure where I ethically stand on murdering my man in cold blood compared to selling him to slavery, but I think I'd rather kill him. I tell you this. I want to leave it up to this sheep. I tell you this. There is one wizard, one sorcerer that I know. Uh, he, he lives around these parts or somewhere near these lands. It was many years ago he was based around here. He may be able to help me. Why don't you tell us that earlier? Well, I, I thought that you would be able to find the one, but uh, he was I think too this busy man is my last chance. It's someone who's quite... Uh, uh, quite well versed in, in quite strange cases like this. He goes by the name of Tiberius Wonderstave. I, I beg that you search for him, find him, seek him out, and uh, try and send him to me, at least to help me. He, he owes me a favor or two from back in the day. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think that we have uh, had the greatest of times. Uh, I, I'll pay you even more. I have hidden deposits of gold, you, you, magical you, items that are surely hidden. You won't here. even give us the table. Excuse Wait, me. did you just say hidden here? I, I believe he said magical items that are. You hidden You would be here. unable to detect them unless you had the the ability to detect magic items. And as far as I can tell, you do not. He's right. I think we should just take He's everything. Right. I think we should take everything. As they well. are hidden. What makes you think you will be able to find them? I feel like. Listen, they'll... transform me back. Seek out Tiberius, and as long as I am back in human form, uh, please just take care of my apprentice, Nook. He will kill me, but I, I will continue my research. I will live off grass. I'll eat shit for the rest of my life. Just bring me Tiberius. He's one, the only sorcerer who I believe has the knowledge to try and save me. Where is he? I don't know. Somewhere around these parts. Oh, I think he may have retired long. down south. That's a long... That's a... I wor this is already just a break. I tell you, this thousands of holiday. gold pieces are in it for you. Magical items beyond your comprehension. He said that this time, though. Yes, but you... Then you failed! <laughs> How many parties would get a second... <laughs> 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 oh, he needs like, me to cast another spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we leave him like this. <laughs> what, do, what do we do with Nook? I uh, think... I think we might have to kill him. We could just sell him to the circus. It's not quite safe for slavery. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> break not out of the selling spot. him anywhere. <laughs> he's Stop a tr trying he's a to bloody wizard. <laughs> I just don't want the man to die for Can one we... bad mistake. What do you mean? I went, ooh, ooh, uh, sheep, sheepy, sh uh, d d shine bright. Oh fucker! Uh, do you have that scroll to make him no, talk? He again? needs another one, but it, it's, it's... Did it... go, go and... get uh, another one. Do you? Hey, shine, shine bright, shine bright. D do you have a scroll anywhere that uh, will do something interesting to Nook? Turn him into a rat for the rest of his life? Anything like that? Some kind of revenge? Hmm. There must be something around here that's interesting. Ah. Uh, th that way we don't have to kill him and he lives out his life in misery like you did. Ah. Hmm. 
Mm. He, he runs into the into the room and starts rummaging around at various points. And, uh, and for God's sake, do you have any beer in the house? There's got to be something. Food? Oh, fucking useless. He, he pulls back a scroll and, uh, and picks it up in his mouth, runs over to Nock and, uh, and places it next to him and, and beckons to you. Mm. Ma, ma, I, come, I come over, I, I pick up the scroll, unroll it, try to read it without saying it, try to understand what it is before I do it. Mm-hmm. Do I understand? So roll it? an arcana roll for me. That's a twenty. Oh, oh. not twenty. Not 20. Yeah. twenty. First, not twenty. Excellent. So Plus. you immediately discern that this scroll is a portal to another dimension. It's a portal to another world. In fact, a very powerful, potent magic that, if opened in the precise spot of where he placed it, would. Uh, even, you know, you, you get the feeling he's trying to send him somewhere. Okay. You, you so recognize this, this, the exact spell and magic. This is, uh, he, he, he's sending him to the nether realms. Right here, right now. I, I, say, I say the words on this page, Nook here's gone. We could do it to the sheep instead. I was we thinking the ma, same ma. thing. Ma. No, if we hold them together, why don't we do it with both? And then ma. all of our problems are solved. Ma. We take the house. <laughs> and then we take the house. And well, then, no, I, I, mean, we I would actually... Uh, we won't be able to find the magical items. That's the mm. problem. I just want to settle down and have an easy life. But I do like the idea There's of genuinely hidden. so many things about this house I do not understand, and they terrify me. I could never sleep here. I think we should send the apprentice into God knows where, mm-hmm. and then find this wizard... He might have nicer meat than this old bag That's of money. All we really wanted was the sausage. That's true. I mean, I, I don't want to stay in the town that we were from either. I don't Fine. really want to go back Stand there. Stand back. I begin to read the spell. Ah, it's just, it's the just, it's just to look take here. a couple of steps back at the sight of this. And you begin to encounter the spell. I, I'm going to grab the sheep because I, I fear that he's going to try and shove one of us into the portal as well. I, I'm going to grab the sheep by the scruff of the neck. Mm-hmm. So as you begin to encant, no funny all, business. All of us are in this room at the same time. All of time. you are in the room, of course. Yeah. As you begin to encant this spell and start channeling, you feel the swirl of potent magical energy. This is stuff that's very high level. It's a very high level spell to be able to transfer between the different planes of existence. And as the magic el- magical energy start to swirl together and condense into a sort of mirror-like base, it suddenly forms out of nowhere and. In one instance, Nock is unconscious against the floor, and in the next, his body is severed into two as the portal completely, cleanly <laughs> swipes into him as he was uh, was conjured onto the point of which he was at. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he dies instantly. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you sneaky fucking sheep. <laughs> Did you know that was going to happen? <laughs> I, th- I think you very much did. If I had read ever so slightly closer, I would have realized it too. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself because I've cast that one before. All right. Well, <laughs> his sheep's happy. Let's go find this the wizard staff magician thing. Yeah, when we get time. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, go back to the, we'll go back to the tavern for now, I guess. Mm. Mm. Gods, I need a drink. And I think that is where we will end this one. Uh, I, I don't know if you failed or not. <laughs> I, I think you failed. <laughs> I think you failed this campaign. This, this one uh, shot. I, so many ways for you to succeed. <laughs> what do you mean? How was I supposed to know about the wand? And as you don't know anything about magic, that's the point. You're not supposed to know about okay, the wand. And there's a dragon coming up the ramp that I it's, can't fight. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't a bad I mean, idea. Honestly, Out of character, not a bad, not a bad idea. Solve it. Yeah. Nobody died, but you didn't save him. <laughs> <laughs> I still didn't trust him from the beginning. I still wasn't yeah. certain. We yeah, I, I think he might have been up to some shifty shit. Mm. Well, you didn't save him, and uh, you killed his apprentice. <laughs> he baited you into literally severing him into two. We were gonna so. kill him. His yeah, apprentice you know. might have also been a fairly decent I, I, chap. I don't think there was a <laughs> single good person in the story. Not a single person no. that was just like, I want to do the right keep, thing. The barkeep. The barkeep. Bar he was nice a genuinely nice guy. Nice he guy. was kind of a pushover, though. Like, we, like, killed people outside of his house, and he's like, oh, here's a free room. Yeah, he's a bit of a pussy. He's dealt with adventures before, and he's learned from his uncle, you know. You don't mess with adventures. Don't, yeah, mm-hmm. just let They'll him do burn what they your want. fucking time and die. <laughs> you just don't do it. Anyway, that, that was the one shot that uh, uh, hopefully was 
entertaining. I mean, I I kind of had fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> You you paint. It was such a good bait and switch with the begin when with we, when we walked up to this scene and there's like apes just playing. I'm like, oh, why did you nice think they would be friendly? I don't because know why you thought. They'd I be thought friendly. it was like it was such a nice picturesque place. He's leading us to his <laughs> house. It's like it looks so warm. They're playing soccer. <laughs> Yeah, but they're just apes playing soccer. They're going to be so people, happy to see this We've only sheep. fought people who are animals. Like, that's the only people we've fought animals no, in the true. ship. That's very, very the, true. The also, in my defense, I thought the uh, the way I, I drew it up in the the mine theater, the outhouse was right here. I didn't have to cross through anything. Yeah, I wasn't sure. in front yeah. of anybody. So, well, didn't matter. Go. That was probably my favorite part. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. This was the, the recap. It was pre-recorded, of course. Uh, the, the regularly scheduled programming, which is going to be cast and cast, is going to continue week by week basis until uh, eventually it won't but we were busy this week with blizzcon uh, but next week we're going to be continuing back with episode two and who knows maybe we've got some continuation characters as well uh they've been set on a path the the final words coming out of sheep's mouth will find me tiberius wonder stave who knows if they'll actually do it they're probably just going to get drunk and burn down more trees <laughs> i don't know this looks like a very dysfunctional party i don't think i want them anywhere near the main campaign like Goodness me. Uh, I thought we did fairly well. I thought we That's, nailed it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for a ragtag group of adventurers, sure. Yeah, not too bad. But that, that'll do it for now. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, we will catch you another time.